Welcome to Fantasy Audiobook, Mecca for All, The Death Scythe That Pierces the Starry Sky. Chapter 1. There is still one month left, and you are going to conduct the assessment. Students who successfully obtain the Mecca will enter the university to continue their studies. Those who fail, go home and rest. Listening to the words of the teacher on the podium, Chen Mu was a little dazed. It seems that I just took a nap in class, why do I always feel that something is wrong? Is it because the college entrance examination is about to come, and the mind is in a trance when memorizing the questions? Chen Mu looked around and found that all the students were excited, which made Chen Mu even more confused. Hey, Sledgehammer, don't you think Teacher Yan's words are strange? What kind of mecha did you mention? Chen Mu looked at his tablemate Wang Sledgehammer and asked. Ah, Wang De Hammer blinked, a little unresponsive, is there something wrong? You told me yesterday that your strength test has reached the second level standard, and you must be able to awaken the mecha. Chen Mu. At this moment, countless memories flooded in, causing Chen Mu to frown and feel a little dizzy. This is transmigrated, Chen Mu shook his head and accepted the message. This is a parallel world, no different from the original one, and I am still an ordinary senior high school student. It's just that the test scores are no longer used as the standard for university admission, but the pilot's talent and awakening are used as the standard. In layman's terms, this world is a world with fighting skills, gun fighting skills, and mech manipulation skills. Every 18-year-old boy will have a chance to awaken the mecha and his own talent will also have a huge impact on the awakened mecha. For example, most of the students with outstanding physical talents awakened melee mechas. As for the students with outstanding shooting talents, most of the awakened ones are long-distance combat mechs. Of course, there are also some students who are not suitable for fighting. What they awaken are not combat mechas, but engineering mechas, maintenance mechas and other strange types. Of course, both the combat type and the logistics type are indispensable and important resources in this world. Because this is a planet that coincides with another world. Every month, there will be three days, countless monsters from different worlds will appear on the space battlefield, and the only one who can fight these monsters is the mecha. So in this world, a pilot is the most respectable profession, and only a pilot can guarantee the survival of mankind. The predecessor of Chen Mu in this parallel world was because he wanted to awaken the mecha too much, and then he used his brain to die suddenly in class. Chen Mu sorted out the information, and sighed slightly in his heart, because in this world, because his parents were not awakened, life was really hard. And his predecessor was also a filial son who valued love and righteousness, so this kind of tragedy appeared. Brother, since I'm here, our parents are actually the same pair, so I will work hard and bring your share. Chen Mu quickly accepted his identity, after all, except for the case of the Mecca, the predecessor was almost the same as him. Whether it is school, classmates, parents, nothing has changed. The only change is that there are mechs and monsters in this world. The bell after class is always so sweet. Chen Mu stepped on it and walked outside the classroom. Ah, Mu, your report. A girl with short hair came running all the way. Chen Mu turned his head and recognized Mu Junlin from the same neighborhood as him. Their parents were both colleagues, so they could be regarded as childhood sweethearts. Mu Junlin has short ear-length hair and a round face with a little baby fat, making her look very petite and cute. In this era that likes snake faces, such a face may not be very attractive, but it makes people look very comfortable, especially the youthful atmosphere that makes Mu Junlin look extremely pure. Ah, what report? Chen Mu asked with some doubts. Yesterday you went for a physical test, did you forget? Mu Junlin said while panting and rubbing her tired thighs from running. Oh, I remembered. Chen Mu understood immediately, and took a piece of A4 paper from Mu Junlin. Senior 3, 10, class. Chen Mu. Strength. 200 kilograms, normal adult 60 to 150. Mental acuity. 5, normal adult 1. Shooting accuracy. D. Normal Adult F. Physical Coordination. A. Normal Adult F. Comprehensive Physical Strength. C. F. For Normal Adults. Pilot Simulation Control Skills. B. Plus. Normal Adult F. Repair Skills. F. Normal Adult F. Comprehensive Evaluation. B. Plus. Mecha Awakening Success Rate. 87%. Mech Awakening Possibility. Melee Combat Type. Looking at his test report. 
Chen Mu also breathed a sigh of relief. According to the information in the memory, the awakening success rate of the general test is more than 50%, and most of them can awaken successfully. Therefore, Chen Mu has the bottom line in his heart. As long as the awakening is successful, after owning the Mecha, he has the possibility of evolution. Because every time you fight, you will get national rewards after winning, so as to improve your combat effectiveness, and what Chen Mu's predecessor wanted most, to improve the quality of life of his parents. Because only someone in the family who becomes a pilot can enjoy the high government subsidies. Of course, the premise is that this pilot must obey the dispatch of the state every month and complete the assigned tasks. Thanks, Shaolin. Chen Mu raised the paper in his hand and said sincerely. No, I know you've always wanted to be a pilot. Looking at this test report, you are very promising. Come on. Mu Junlin showed her two small canine teeth and waved her small arms. Well, you too. Chen Mu smiled. How to go back? Ride a bike, otherwise how can I go back? Mu Junlin shook her head. Okay, shall I take you? Ah, can you? Of course, my strength is great. Chen Mu pushed onto the shared bicycle, Mu Junlin sat on the back seat a little shyly, and grabbed the sides of Chen Mu's school uniform. Fortunately, Chen Mu yelled and quickly rushed into the crowd, which also calmed down Mu Junlin's heart. Amid Mu Junlin's chirping chatter, Chen Mu rode a bicycle towards home. In my impression, Mu Junlin seems to like herself a little bit, Chen Mu thought to himself, but a girl appeared in his mind. It was a girl whom he had had a crush on for three years before, and also Han Manxiang, the school bell of number. Three high school in our city. Chen Mu secretly made a comparison, and curled his lips in his heart, as Mu Junlin much better than that school beauty. This predecessor is good in everything else, but the vision is not good. What did you say? Mu Junlin's voice came. It's nothing, I said it seems that you should lose weight. Chen Mu chuckled. Ha, huh, then, then I won't eat tonight. Don't, it's time to eat, don't be afraid. Chen Mu shook his head. Mu Junlin blinked, feeling a little puzzled. This Chen Mu seems to have changed a bit. Girls are the most sensitive minds, and Mu Junlin knows that Chen Mu likes Han Manxiang, so the two of them usually get along like buddies, they have known each other for so many years, and they have never even touched hands. It's just that Mu Junlin didn't quite understand what changed in Chen Mu today. She just discovered that Chen Mu had changed a lot. It is not clear whether it is good or bad, but Mu Junlin thinks that she still likes Chen Mu like this. Chen Mu quickly sent Mu Junlin, who was thinking about her thoughts, home, and then ran to her own home. This residence is far worse than my previous one. Chen Mu shook his head and stepped into the room. Xiao Mu is back, wash your hands quickly, and prepare to eat. The voice of Mother Lu Ruoxin always sounded in time. Mom, what are you eating today? It smells so good. Chen Mu rubbed his hands together and went to the kitchen to take a look. Your dad went to find a friend today and helped him make a nourishing chicken soup. It is said that it is prepared with a special formula and can strengthen your strength. Lu Ruoxin walked over wearing an apron, and patted Chen Mu on the head, go and wash your hands. Yes, yes, mom has worked hard. Chen Mu rushed into the living room with a playful smile, and saw his father Chen Shan sitting on the sofa, watching the news channel on TV. The college entrance examination is coming soon. You must work hard. Your father and I have no hope in this life, but you still have many opportunities, you know. Oh, Chen Mu scratched his head. The Chen Shan in front of him, talking to his father in the parallel world, was almost printed out of the same mold. However, Chen Mu also understands that the nourishing chicken soup must have cost a huge amount of money this time, which made the burden on the already unremarkable family even heavier. Therefore, after serving the table, Chen Mu drank the entire pot of nourishing chicken soup without hesitation. It's not that Chen Mu doesn't want to give his parents something to drink, but that he needs it more now. Only when he steps into the ranks of a pilot can he get more resources, and then he can make up for his parents. This is the priority. Feeling a wave of hot air flowing in his body, Chen Mu said, I'm going to practice combat gymnastics. Chen Shan nodded, with a hint of relief on his face. This fighting gymnastics is a special kind of gymnastics that every school starts to promote in junior high school. According to some very weird movements, it is said that it can continuously improve people's flexibility and bone strength. 
if supplemented with some special ingredients or some prepared medicines, it can greatly enhance people's strength and physical strength. This is also recognized throughout the world as the best exercise method for junior reserve students. As for higher level training methods, only the military and various colleges and universities have them, and they are all secret methods that are not passed on to the outside world. Of course, the currently recognized military body training technique is the most powerful existence in the country. After a period of practice, Chen Yu felt a sense of strength all over his body, and he was also satisfied for a while. This feeling was beyond what he could have imagined in his previous life. With a strength of up to 200 kilograms, Chen Yu can easily perform many movements that he could not do before, and his body flexibility is also very good. Repeatedly practicing like this, until late at night, Chen Yu took a shower and fell asleep. Such days, with Chen Mu's constant persistence and expectation, repeated for another month until the arrival of the college entrance examination. And the next three days are also the three most important days in the entire Great Sha Kingdom. Since the night before, the military has mobilized a large amount of manpower to block the examination venues, and the major universities have even sent teachers to each examination venue, preparing to win over the advanced students immediately. These three days are destined to be sleepless nights for countless people. Early in the morning, a bus stopped outside the community and took the candidates who were going to take the exam directly to the exam room. During this process, there are guards armed with firearms all the way to guard. And the sky is tightly sealed by the mechs, and any mechas that take off without permission will suffer a devastating blow. Seeing this battle, Chen Mu was also secretly speechless. All of this stems from the fact that a senior pilot once attacked the examination room of the college entrance examination like crazy for some reason, resulting in the loss of at least a thousand new pilots that year. Since then, every time the college entrance examination, the military will be dispatched to ensure that the same situation will never happen again. It was also the first time Chen Mu saw this situation. Soon, he was sent to the examination room, and after a series of identification verifications, he entered a separate sealed room. The height of this room is nearly 50 meters, and the circumference is about 5 meters. And there are as many as tens of thousands of such rooms in the examination room. Chen Mu was one of the first students to enter the examination room. There is only one coffee table in the room, and a tube of injections is placed on it, which is the welfare of every candidate. The full name of the injection is Type 1 Comprehensive Strengthening Medicine, which has no side effects and can greatly improve the various potentials of the human body in a short period of time. Within half an hour after using it, it can increase the overall strength by almost 5%, and then gradually dissipate, but there is a 1% chance of retaining a certain strengthening attribute. After human beings fought with creatures from other worlds, all kinds of precious materials were gradually utilized after so many years of development. Among them, strengthening medicine is the most typical representative. It's just that these medicines are not only expensive, but also very difficult to prepare. Except for the government, some big forces, and various universities, ordinary people really have no way to get in touch. It is said that even the most common type 1 power-enhancing potion has sold for sky-high prices on the black market, and there is still no market for it. So Chen Mu injected the medicine into his arm without hesitation. Time is limited, don't waste it. With the injection of the medicine, Chen Mu soon felt hot all over, and a strong sense of strength spread throughout his body, while his head felt as if soaked in water, feeling cool and sharpened. It's such a strong effect, maybe it's because I'm too weak now, so the feeling is so strong. Chen Mu muttered secretly. Based on the experience of many previous predecessors, Chen Mu quickly sat cross-legged and began to communicate with the mecha world. It is said that it is a world full of countless strange mechas, but everyone has only one chance to communicate in a lifetime. Soon, Chen Mu found that his spirit was gradually ascending to the sky. It felt like his soul was out of his body. Then, he saw a scene that shocked him inexplicably. Here, it was a pitch black universe, but soon, sparks began to light up there. No, it's not Shingo, every spot of light is a mecha. Chen Mu looked at the light spots like the grains of Ganges River in shock, and was a little puzzled, didn't it mean that every awakened student can only sense a few light clusters? Even some of them can't sense one. Why, I can see the existence of hundreds of millions of mechas at a glance. Could it be that this is the treatment for traversers? 
Thinking of this, Chen Emu's heart was pounding. Hey, there are so many mechas, which one should I choose? According to the experience of the ancestors, the brighter the mecha world is, the stronger the mechas in it. So Chen Mu filtered out some mechs that didn't look bright enough, and went straight to the middle ground to search. Ha! Huh, assault on freedom. It is indeed the most beautiful, forget it, the brightness is not enough. Wow, unicorn, the brightness is average, flying wing zero, tisk tisk, look again. Chen Mu muttered as he continued to swim in the sea of mechs. If this scene was seen by other people, they probably wanted to kill Chen Mu. After all, the number of mechas that most people can see during awakening is limited. As far as the current recorded existence, there are more than 100 mecha light groups at most. Among them, there may be D-level to SSS-level mechas. Of course, whether this mecha can be awakened depends on fate. And Chen Mu's billions of light clusters are simply terrifying. Chen Mu has already seen several planes marked with SSS level. It's just that none of these mechs responded to Chen Mu's call, which made him a little dumbfounded. No way, give me so many choices, is it just to tease me? Chen Mu looked at a hideous mecha unwillingly, and kept calling. This is the only SSSR level mecha he has found so far. But there was still no response, and when Chen Mu called for the third time, the light cluster of the mecha disappeared with a swish. Worry, Chen Mu rolled his eyes and almost lost his breath. What the hell, was he despised? Just as Chen Mu gritted his teeth and continued to pick and choose, there were waves of cheers from the outside world. It's just that Chen Mu couldn't hear this sound. Zhang Kishan, Class 1, Senior 3, successfully awakened the B-Class Long Distance Combat Mech Benlei Type 1. Let us congratulate this student, who has successfully entered the ranks of pilots. Following the announcement on the radio, a chunky boy with a smile on his face came out of the examination room and walked to the left side of the school. Class 3 1 Wang Daji successfully awakened the B-Class Long Distance Combat Mech Thunderbird Type 1. Let us congratulate this student for successfully stepping into the ranks of pilots. Senior year, following one report after another, many students, whether they obtained the mecha or failed to obtain the mecha, came out, but they either had smiles on their faces or tears streaming down their faces. The reality is so cruel, success or failure will be revealed in just two hours. The parents who watched the broadcast on the electronic screen outside also had polarized expressions. Congratulations to Han Manxiang from Class 3 6 for successfully awakening the S-Class Melee Mecha Yingfeng. This is the second time an S-Class Mecha has appeared in our school in a century. Let us cheer for this classmate. As expected of Han Manxiang, it's unbelievable that he has awakened an S-Class Mecha. Whoa, why, why did I only get a D rank, how does this make me match the goddess? Go away, even if you get S rank, you are not good enough for Han Manxiang. Following Han Manxiang's broadcast, the whole school and outside the school were boiling. And Han Manxiang walked out of the examination room with a calm face, ignoring all the eyes of the crowd. Good job, Man Shang. The headmaster looked over with a smile on his face. Han Manxiang nodded slightly, and waited quietly for the other's exams to end. Congratulations to Feng Hao, Class 7, Senior 3, for successfully awakening the S-Class Long Distance Combat Mech Apollo. I didn't expect two S-Class mechas to appear in our school this time. This is really a day worth celebrating. Let us cheer together. Quote. Feng Hao has also awakened the S-Class Mecha, this. It's not surprising. Their family is the richest man in our city, and they probably have piled up a lot of resources. Hey, why wasn't I born in a good family? Amidst another burst of discussion, a non-mainstream person with long hair covering his eyes walked out haughtily. Looking at the envious eyes, Feng Hao grinned and walked to Han Manxiang with some joy. How about it? I said that I must be able to awaken the S-Class, so you can promise me now. Wait until you hit me, I'm also S-Rank. Han Manxiang replied noncommittally. Ha, huh, it doesn't make sense, how could you be S-Rank? Feng Hao looked like you were lying to me. Han Manxiang shook his head and stopped talking. The first round of exams has a total of 10,000 people, and 9,999 people have completed it so far. A total of 785 people have obtained the status of fighter pilots, and a total of 1,627 people have obtained the status of auxiliary pilots. 
The results this time are very good. Congratulations. Is there another one that hasn't come out yet? Yeah, why is it taking so long? If you don't come out in two hours, it will be very difficult. Isn't this a waste of everyone's time? That's right, is it possible that our school will produce a third S level? Not only the students were talking about it, but even the school leaders in the stands showed joy. After such a long time, it must be awakened, but it has not come out. There is only one possibility, and that is that the mech is too strong and takes too much time. Principal Wang Tang rubbed his hands. Go, find out who it is. At this moment when everyone was paying attention, Chen Yu was still searching for the existence of the SSSR mech with a blank expression. It's just that after looking for it for a long time, I haven't seen it anymore. As for the other mechs, Chen Yu lacked interest at the moment. After time passed bit by bit, Chen Yu also became a little anxious. At this moment, he saw a different mecha. Because the rating of this mecha turned out to be a code that had never appeared before, X. According to the world-recognized ranking of mecha levels, the highest is the SSSR level, which belongs to the legendary mecha. And the lowest is D level, this kind of mecha is also the most among the existing mechas. What's the situation with this X? Chen Yu looked at the brightness of the outside of this mech, and felt that it was about the same brightness as Strike Freedom, and Strike Freedom was rated S level. It's a strange mecha, why don't you give it a try? Just as Chen Mu had this idea, the light ball of this mecha suddenly burst into light, shooting directly into Chen Mu's forehead. I'm just going to take a look. Why did you wake up directly? Can you be more reserved? Chen Mu looked confused, but he didn't know if it was his illusion, he felt that this mecha conveyed a doubtful emotion to him. Mechs can also express emotions. No, I must be too nervous recently. Chen Yu shook his head, and the next moment, Chen Yu found himself back in the examination room. And in front of him, a black mecha appeared. The rating of this mech is impressively. This is a very beautiful mech with extremely smooth lines. The joints all over his body are full of all kinds of super alloy steel thorns, which gives people an extremely ferocious feeling. A huge sickle with a length of 16 meters hangs on the back. It is unknown what kind of material it is made of, and it is constantly emitting black halos. Just by looking at it, one could see a murderous aura rushing towards his face. Star flame, incomplete. Height, 12 meters. Weight, 46.88 tons. Exoskeleton armor. Meteor grade variable composite armor, incomplete. Engine, meteorite X engine, semi-damaged state. Power source can be matched with any energy source, 5% of the current energy source. Current maximum speed, Mach 3 in the atmosphere, Mach 6 in space. Main weapon, blade of creation, charging, currently 5%. Secondary weapons, XY-100 electromagnetic gun 2, XY-200 self-locking boomerang 4, overclocking magnetic dagger 2. Overall rating, S, it's just an S-class mecha. Chen Mu frowned secretly. It's just that at this moment, he hasn't realized what kind of concept it is that a broken mech can be rated as S. What's the matter with this variable composite armor? Just when Chen Mu was hesitating whether to enter the cockpit to check. The shape of the mecha changed for a while, and then what appeared in front of Chen Mu was a Zaku. Chen Mu blinked. It turned out to be a Zaku. Does it mean that a real man has to drive a Zaku? Not only that, the introduction of the mecha that Chen Mu saw also changed in an instant, B-level mecha Zaku. In the next second, Chen Mu, who had no time to study carefully, was notified to leave the examination room. Chen Mu put away his mecha, and when he passed the gate of the examination room, he found an unknown light sweeping his whole body. Congratulations to Chen Mu from Class 310 for successfully awakening the Class B mecha Zaku. The first round of exams is over. Let's congratulate them. I didn't expect it. After spending so much time, I only awakened the B level. It's a fool. I understand, it must be that the mech is not willing to awaken, that's why it took so long. Hey, it's just trash. Someone else has awakened a B level mecha, and you, who have nothing, have the nerve to call others trash. It's not trash, what is it? It took longer than Han Manxiang and the others, and it turned out to be a B grade. Not only were the students talking a lot, but even the headmaster showed disappointment on his face. After all, 
the more advanced mechas the school produces, the more benefits he, the headmaster, will get. Not to mention anything else, just to choose the university for the freshman and which student he wants, so he can't give any benefits in private. Today's talented students are the existences that all major universities want to attract. As long as your awakened mecca is strong enough and your own strength is strong enough, even if you have no background, you can soar into the sky after the college entrance examination. This is also the only way for civilians to change their class in this world. Chen Yu didn't care about other people's comments and gazes. At this moment, he was still thinking about all kinds of weird things about this mecha. The existence of the transformed mecha can even make the world's most powerful sky IV scanner unable to detect abnormalities. What does this mean? Chen Yu wished he could go back immediately and study his mecha well. It's just that the cutscenes that should go through still have to go, and we have to wait for the principal to speak, and we have to say goodbye to each other. Chen Yu, congratulations, you have awakened the B-level mecha, and you will definitely be able to go to a good university. Mu Junlin trotted all the way to Chen Mu's side. A B level, what kind of good university does it make me laugh? Feng Hao looked over with a look of disdain. None of your business. Mu Junlin glared at Feng Hao angrily. Hey, you awakened auxiliary mecha, you dare to talk to me like that, you deserve a beating. Feng Hao raised his eyebrows and looked over viciously. This startled Mu Junlin, she subconsciously hid behind Chen Mu. What's the point of scaring girls? Feng Hao, you're pretty good at it. Chen Mu looked at Feng Hao with a half smile. Han Manxiang frowned. She looked down on both Feng Hao and Chen Mu, but in comparison, Feng Hao at least has an S level mecha, and there may be some intersections in the future. So Han Manxiang watched coldly. May I not talk about it for now? But my mecha can definitely do it, how about it? B level Chen Mu, do you want to play two games with my Apollo? Feng Hao laughed. Okay. What's the bet? Chen Mu rolled his eyes. It is said that this Feng Hao is the richest man in City R, so there must be something good about him. If he doesn't cheat, how can he be worthy of the title of the son of the richest man? You, want to bet against me? With my S-class Apollo. Feng Hao opened his mouth exaggeratedly, and looked over with a playful expression. What, don't you dare? Chen Mu patted Mu Junlin's little hand that was secretly pulling her, and asked calmly. Ha, huh. Feng Hao looked surprised. What kind of bet do you place? Level 2 Strength to Deploy Potions. Before Chen Mu could speak, Mu Junlin suddenly spoke first. What? Those who heard the conversations of several people around them gasped. This two-level strength deployment potion is not an ordinary commodity. Compared with the 1 to 20 kilogram strength that may be increased by level 1 strength preparation medicine, after injection of level 2 strength medicine, it can increase the strength by a stable 30 kg without any side effects. It's just that correspondingly, the ingredients for level 2 strength preparation potions are more cherished, and the preparation formula is also very precious, which is not available to ordinary people. And Mu Junlin has always shown that her family background is very mediocre, so why can she come up with such a thing? So not only Feng Hao looked over suspiciously, but even Han Manxiang and others expressed disbelief. Don't lie to me, take it out and have a look. Feng Hao's face darkened. Mu Junlin opened her school bag and took out a tube of green injection. The mark on it was indeed a level 2 strength preparation medicine. This time, everyone was shocked and looked at Feng Hao. Feng Hao's expression changed. Although his family is the richest man, the preparation of medicine is not an ordinary item. Even if he can afford the most expensive sports car on the market, it is still not enough compared to this medicine. Why do you have this thing? Chen Mu was also curious. My aunt gave it to me. Mu Junlin grinned. I just can't understand Feng Hao's arrogant appearance, and I believe you will be able to defeat him. I see how hard you work every day, in the eyes. You are right in saying that. To deal with this kind of rookie pilot, let alone AB class, even if you give me AD class, he can beat him all over the place. Chen Mu chuckled, squinting at Feng Hao provocatively. He understood that Feng Hao would absolutely not be able to stand this kind of provocation. Sure enough, after Chen Mu said this, Feng Hao, who had been hesitant, immediately gritted his teeth and turned on the communicator and began to contact his father. I don't know what the two of them said, but soon Feng Hao walked over with a wild smile on his face, 
Chen Mu, how about a bottle of level 1 spiritual power strengthening potion and an engine of a level Omeka? Mental power strengthening potions of the same level are more precious than strength potions, so Feng Hao's bet is strictly similar to Mu Junglin's potion. It's a bet. Chen Mu waved his hand. You choose the time and place. Okay, after the principal's old fool finishes his speech, we'll go to the Mecha battle room. Han Manxiang, you're in charge of keeping this potion, I can't trust Chen Mu. Then you just wait and cry. Chen Mu chuckled and ignored the angry Feng Hao. Brother Feng, I'll blow him up later, let him see how powerful the S-Class Mecha is. That's right, Chen Mu, what do you compare with Brother Feng? Family background, strength, Mecha, what qualifications do you have to challenge? Why don't you just offer the potion, maybe Brother Feng can accept you as a younger brother or something. Don't overestimate your own strength, Brother Feng, don't hesitate to wait, just cripple his Mecha and let him cultivate for a few months. Hearing the chattering in his ears, Chen Mu rolled his eyes. Xiao Lan, there are too many flies here, let's talk in another place. Okay, Mu Junlin glared at these people, and followed Chen Mu to the outside. The two trash really don't know how high the sky is, and I'll see how you cry later. Amidst the different glances of a group of people, Chen Mu ignored them calmly. My aunt is a teacher of Tianfu Mecha Academy. This time, she specially came to our city R to select students. Why don't I tell her to see if I can let you in? Mu Junlin said in a low voice. Tianfu Mecha Academy, that is one of the top 50 colleges in our country. Your aunt is a teacher there. Why is your family in our city? Chen Mu asked with some puzzlement. There is some reason in the middle, it is from my father, he is too stubborn, so the aunt in the middle is a little angry, but it has gradually recovered in recent years. My aunt also got the potion secretly for me. I hope I can awaken a better mech. It's just that I know I'm not suitable for fighting, so I leave it unused. Mu Junlin looked at Chen Mu from the side, and said softly, when you defeat that idiot Feng Hao, you can use this potion. You are now a reserve combatant, and this potion is more suitable for you. Chen Mu looked at Mu Junlin for a while, and said with a smile, what mech did you awaken? As long as the battlefield auxiliary A-level mecha Hongyun has a damage rate of no more than 20%, it can be maintained immediately. That's very powerful. During the battle, the mecha can't enter the mecha space to heal itself, so it has to rely on you. Chen Mu's eyes lit up. However, you are still amazing, you can fight monsters directly. Mu Junlin smiled and said, So, for the future upgrade of my mecha, this is an investment in advance. Okay. I'll give you whatever you need from now on. Chen Mu waved his hand and stopped being polite to Mu Junlin. After all, this potion of strength was something Chen Mu really needed right now. Then it's settled. Mu Junlin raised her hands and clapped them together with Chen Mu's big hands. The long graduation ceremony finally came to an end, and the drowsy Chen Mu mechanically clapped his hands under Mu Junlin's reminder. Our city no. 3 middle school has awakened 2 S grades, 5 A grades, and 17 C grades. This also caused a sensation in our city. Many reporters and teachers from various colleges also rushed to hear the news, and planned to communicate with the parents of these students first. This also made Wang Tang very proud. These people who are usually aloof and talented are talking to him at the moment, which somewhat satisfies the principal's special psychology. On the other hand, the world of the students is relatively simple. A group of hundreds of students surrounded Feng Hao and walked towards Chen Mu. Why, don't you want to run away? Joke, your family must have worked so hard to get that potion, it's a pity that you are a prodigal son. Chen Mu shook his head, and took the lead towards the Mecha battle room. HMPH, I'll see if you can still laugh. Feng Hao suppressed his anger and wanted to go to the front angrily, but Chen Mu kept moving, blocking his route. So, on the way to the battle room, Feng Hao was pissed off again. Soon, a group of people came to the battle room. This is a super alloy building, and the walls inside have the ability to absorb a certain amount of energy beams, which can withstand the impact of a million level laser gun. Everyone came to the observation room, only Chen Mu and Feng Hao walked in. As the door closed, everyone fell silent, watching the battle between the two. Feng Hao's Apollo is a humanoid mecha with a height of about 13 meters, and its golden color shows its extraordinary level. The mecha is equipped with two huge laser guns, 
two lightsaber exciters, a cold laser cannon on the back, and 12 hidden shooting bays all over the body, which can be called a mobile firepower fortress. Of course, with so many shooting channels, there are very high requirements for the pilot's physical strength, coordination, and shooting accuracy. And when Chen Emu's mecha appeared, the audience booed. It was a 12-meter tall humanoid mech with a black body, and the monitor was a red eyeball that kept sliding left and right on its head, which looked rather funny. The huge sickle on the back is even more incongruous with the whole body, somewhat nondescript. The two are just a comparison, so it is no surprise that people choose Apollo. Mu Junglin clenched her small fists. Ah Mu, you have to work harder. Is it your friend? A pleasant female voice came. Mu Junglin turned her head to look, and immediately smiled. Auntie, why are you here? I was about to chat with Principal Wang Tang, but I saw you and your group coming here, so I followed you to have a look. What's the matter? Is it your friend who fought that S rank? Mu Wanqing, who was wearing a black professional suit, had long black hair hanging down her sides, revealing an incomparably exquisite makeup. The black hip wrapping skirt also perfectly outlined her moving curves. Well, it's Chen Mu, we've played together since childhood. Mu Junglin nodded quickly. Oh, but the opponent's S level Apollo is crushed in terms of level alone. If your friend's opponent is smarter and uses full firepower directly, it is estimated that this Zaku will be defeated in a second. Mu Wanqing is different from these students, she has seen countless mechas, so she can tell the pros and cons at a glance. No, Ah Mu promised me that I will definitely win. Mu Junlin said firmly. Oh, Mu Wanqing looked at the little girl's face, showing an understanding expression. Okay, my family Shaolin agrees, it must not be an ordinary person, let Aunt see what she has. Chen Mu used the lifting rope to come to the cockpit immediately. As he sat in the seat, the seat belt buckled up automatically. For the first time, this feeling is awesome. Chen Mu felt like he was born with a strong sense of familiarity with mechs. As he pressed the start button, Zaku's eyes lit up, and he turned left and right to lock on to Apollo on the opposite side. For the first time, you need to set the buttons. Chen Mu looked at the holographic screen that lit up in front of him, then pressed the console with both hands, and began to set the relevant parameters of the mecha. Although this is the first time to do this kind of thing, Chen Mu has done it countless times in learning simulations. The CPG setting is complete, neural connection. The ion concentration is normal. Metamobility identification device update. The power furnace is critical. The energy output is normal, and the whole system is normal. Xingyun's entire system. Start up. As a faint black halo appeared on the surface of the mecha, Chen Emu's fingers slid across the console, and the mecha instantly started and rushed forward. On the opposite side of him, Feng Hao was sweating profusely, correcting the parameters of Apollo. Why, why did that kid set up the mecha so quickly? Before Feng Hao's roar was over, he saw a black shadow flashing away on the holographic screen. It was a huge scythe, which cut across Apollo's neck. D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D the ear-piercing siren sounded throughout the cab, Feng Hao frantically pushed the control console, the mecha jumped forward, and then hit the alloy steel floor. Tisk tisk, how did the pilot of this S-class mecha communicate with such a mecha? It's outrageous, but the speed at which your friend sets the parameters of the mecha is quite fast. Mu Wanqing laughed. A group of students in the stands were speechless. No one expected this result in advance, and they also had the idea that Chen Mu would win, but who knew it would be this way? It was the first time for everyone to control the mecha, so it was inevitable. Feng Hao's mecha didn't play any role at all, and fell to the ground directly. This is really, unlucky enough. As for this Chen Mu, his luck is really against the sky. Look, he was so surprised that he didn't move at all. At this moment Chen Mu was really a little confused. But it wasn't because of defeating this dude so quickly, but because of the prompt from Xingyun's master control computer. The monitor part of the S-level mech is detected, and the absorption can restore 1% performance. Is it absorbed? Close black lens bracket. Chen Mu frowned and looked at the head of Apollo hanging on the sickle, his mind was full of thoughts. Absorb. Please take back the mecha to the core. After Chen Mu came out of the cab, he immediately put away the star flames, and then saw that the mecha and Apollo's mechanical head disappeared at the same time. Absorption is expected to take five minutes. 
Sensing the message from his mind, Chen Yu strode towards Han Manxiang while thinking. This mecha can actually absorb parts from other mechas. Doesn't that mean that as long as I get some more mecha parts, I can quickly restore him to a complete state? Thinking of this, Chen Mu became excited. Han Manxiang, where is my trophy? You're just opportunistic, it's not a victory. Han Manxiang said coldly, but he didn't renege on his debt, but gave Chen Mu the spiritual potion. As long as you win, who cares about you on the battlefield? Chen Mu curled his lips and grabbed him unceremoniously. Ah Mu, that's great. Mu Junglin trotted over. Chen Mu smiled and patted the little girl's head. Happy today, let's go, treat you to Mala Tang. Okay, I want to eat a lot of meat. Mu Junglin grinned. What, just left like this? Are you planning to leave Ant aside? Mu Wanqing walked over with a smile on her face. Ah, I'm sorry, Ant, I forgot. Mu Junglin stuck out her tongue and said very embarrassedly, Chen Mu, this is my aunt, Mu Wanqing from Tianfu College. Since we are eating, one more person won't bother you. Mu Wanqing looked narrowly at Chen Mu. Chen Mu fell silent, touched the huge sum of 100 yuan in his pocket, gritted his teeth and said, one is also welcome, and two are also welcome, let's go. After the three of them left, Feng Hao finished setting the parameters of Apollo, and controlled the mech to get up. Asshole, Chen Mu, come on, let's continue fighting. Feng Hao roared for a while, only to realize that his optical screen was pitch black, and when he observed it with the naked eye, he realized that he was the only one left in the entire battle room. Ah, crazy Feng Hao crawled out of the mecha, looking at the headless Apollo, his heart began to twitch. The main monitor is gone, it has to be repaired until the year of the monkey. Although the mecha can be repaired freely in the core, but such a traumatic injury, if there is no material, it will really make people desperate. Chen Mu, who was in a very happy mood, brought two beauties, one big and one small, to a mala tang shop. Then he waved his hand generously and ordered 20 vegetarian skewers for each of them. Don't eat meat. It's easy to gain weight. It's better to be a vegetarian. It's rich in vitamins and nutrients. While brainwashing Mu Junlin, Chen Mu was secretly thinking about whether he had enough money. But, I want to eat meat. Mu Junglin looked aggrieved. Eat it from now on, I'll give it to you every day from now on. Chen Mu coaxed and dragged the two of them to the table. Mu Wanqing looked at the two teenagers amusedly, and didn't point out, but asked, Chen Mu, do you have a favorite school? Not yet decided, let's see fate. Chen Mu shook his head. Then look, how about our Tianfu Academy? Mu Wanqing looked at Mu Junglin and made a silent decision in her heart. Anyway, this time my quota is 10 people, so it doesn't matter if I open a back door. It's rare for Junlin to meet someone she likes. Ah, is it really possible? Mu Junlin's eyes lit up. Well, as long as Chen Mu agrees, I can immediately help him with the admission procedures. After receiving Mu Wanqing's affirmative reply, Mu Junlin immediately became excited. Ah, Mu, please agree quickly, so mine can be a school. Tianfu College Chen Mu had read the information about this school beforehand, it was built more than 300 years ago, it is considered an old institution of higher learning. The most famous inheritance among them is the method of hand speed training. As for the control of a mecha, besides strength, physical strength, physical coordination and mental strength, the most important thing is hand speed. The hand speed determines how many commands you can give the mecha in a unit time. This is a long-term practice process. Due to the high speed of the battle between mechas, it is often necessary to control various steps by hand within a few seconds, so that the mechas can achieve the desired action and attack the enemy. The strength of the hand speed represents the level of the pilot. As for physical strength, it represents a person's overall physical fitness. Under the strong acceleration, only those with strong physical strength can withstand the impact and prevent themselves from fainting. Therefore, the pilot's requirements for mechas increase with the increase in strength, not that the faster the speed, the better. First of all, you must have the ability to control it. So Chen Mu only thought for a while before agreeing to Mu Wanqing's invitation. The most important thing is that Chen Mu understands that with his superficial B-level mecha, he will never be able to enter Tianfu Academy no matter what. Seeing Chen Mu agreeing to the past, Mu Junglin was naturally the happiest. It's the first time to travel far, 
and it's always easier to have a friend who has played with us since childhood. Niu Wanqing nodded and said, Okay, you go home and make arrangements. I will take Shaolin there in three days, so you can come with us. No problem. After eating, Chen Niu returned home immediately. On the one hand, he wanted to announce the good news to his parents, and on the other hand, he had too much to study about his Mecca. After learning that his son had successfully entered the university, which was the top 50 Tianfu Academy, Chen Niu finally saw his father's smile. Good job. Chen Shan's understatement made Chen Niu happy from the bottom of his heart. When you go to college, you must practice hard. You will have a wider sky in the future, but you must be smart and pay more attention to protecting yourself. Yes, Chen Niu nodded. After dinner, Chen Niu came to a mecha test center, took 1,000 yuan from his father, and rented a training venue. It's really expensive, 1,000 yuan for four hours of training, it's a money grab. Chen Niu complained, and quickly summoned Xing Yan. This time, Chen Niu took off the camouflage of the mecha, and the whole body immediately looked extremely coordinated. You can't waste time. Chen Niu came to the cockpit, turned on the main control computer, and began to retrieve Xing Yan's driver's manual. Looking at the dense and complicated instructions, Chen Niu was a little at a loss. Generally speaking, there are not too many instructions for a mech, basically covering forward, dodge, attack, defense, turning and so on. It's just Xing Yan's operation, but there are as many as 300 compound commands. And the set buttons also need enough muscle memory to support them. For example, there are a hundred small buttons on the left and right half of his console, each of which is an instruction for a specific action. Chen Niu pressed one at random, and saw the mech rush forward, and then the creation blade swept across from bottom to top. And when Chen Niu pressed another button, Xing Yan's auxiliary engine turned on suddenly, and then he fell headlong on the floor, and his legs turned around, which was very funny. This time, even with the hydraulic buffer device, Chen Niu was hit dizzy for a while. This command is obviously a head-to-foot attack action, which obviously requires the mech to be in midair to complete. After controlling Xing Yan to stand up again, Chen Niu looked at the various operating instructions on the optical brain with a bitter face. The more instructions, the more it means that this mech is extraordinary. There is nothing that cannot be trained. Gritting his teeth, Chen Niu began to test one by one, one by one. Time passed quickly, and four hours later, the sweaty Chen Niu climbed out of the cockpit panting and headed home. It's too expensive. The college should have a dedicated practice room. You can practice better there. Chen Niu shook his head, not planning to spend any more money from his parents. And for Xing Yan's extremely complicated mecha, a simple training session is obviously not enough to master it. After finishing the school entrance banquet, Chen Niu gave a simple salute, hugged his parents, turned around and boarded Niu Wanqing's flying car, and headed for Tianfu University. When the baby bird grows up, it always wants to fly solo. Chen Shan patted Lu Ruoxin on the shoulder. Didn't you say at the beginning that you didn't want him to take the path of a pilot? Why did you go to such lengths to increase his strength? Isn't it good to be an ordinary person? Lu Ruoxin wiped her eyes and said. Chen Shan didn't speak for a while, but the father who had always been silent in Chen Emu's eyes suddenly burst into light at this moment, and his face became resolute and fierce. In this world, every boy has a dream of soaring to the sky. I can't stop my son's hope because of myself. I hope he won't blame us in the future. Lu Ruoxin nodded, agreeing with Chen Shan. He is my son, and my blood is flowing in his body, so he is destined to be so ordinary. Perhaps, he himself is not very clear about what the training I did for him represents. These, only after he entered the actual combat, will gradually understand. But his physical strength is not enough, Lu Ruoxin said with some worry. This requires him to work hard on his own. I have already brought him to a relatively high starting point. If he can't make his own way, then even if I give him more resources, it will be useless. Tianfu Academy's hand speed training is still very famous, but it seems to be much worse than the method you trained him. The main thing I train my son is hand speed. In fact, entering Tianfu Academy is not as good as entering other schools, but the son makes his own choice, let him go. Chen Shan looked at the sky where the speeding car was going away again, turned around and walked home, Lu Ruoxin took his arm, and the two walked towards the residents cuddling each other. Target, 
has left City R. In a hidden basement, a voice sounded. Can it be captured? Someone asked. The other party is accompanied by a teacher from Tianfu Academy, so don't startle the enemy. If one is not good, and the Mountain King comes out of the mountain again, you all understand the consequences. Then how to deal with it? X-fingering is definitely the top hand speed training method. I think no matter how much you pay, if you can get it, it is worth it. Don't act rashly. I suggest sending someone to contact number one target first, and make sure that the other party has learned X fingering before capturing. Agree, agree, agree. After a few voices came out, the first voice sounded, X fingering is very important to us, I decided to send a generation of humanoid weapon prototypes for this mission, she has completed all the courses, this mission can test the results by the way. Agree, following the voices of agreement, inside a secret base thousands of kilometers away from our city. A circular shield slowly opened, revealing a delicate and charming figure of a woman. At this moment, she was completely naked, with her eyes closed tightly, lying quietly on the bed. With the opening of the shield, the woman's eyes opened abruptly. One was red and the other was black. After turning continuously, they finally turned into normal pupils. Then the woman stood up, raised her green hand for a closer look, and then walked down. Seemingly seeing a set of clothes beside her, the woman walked over gracefully, took the clothes, and covered her blood-soaking body. Then the woman suddenly stopped moving forward, showing an attitude of listening, and opened her small cherry mouth after a long while. Mission. Get close to Chen Mu, a freshman at Tianfu College, and get X fingering. Receiving Chen Mu's message, the reception is complete. The mission has started. It is currently 570 kilometers away from Li Tianfu College. It is expected to take two hours to arrive. After the woman made a mechanical sound, the timbre gradually changed, and finally turned into the voice of Yuji that could make people feel numb from the heart. Then she opened the wardrobe on one side again, chose a combination of short tee and jeans, and went out of base. The people I met along the way seemed to turn a blind eye to her until I reached the ground. Seeing a speeding car parked in front of her, the woman got in without hesitation, and the car started suddenly, heading towards Tianfu Academy. Dot dot dot. Wow, Tianfu Academy is so big. Mu Junlin exclaimed. The space occupied by mechs is not small. Our Tianfu College has a complete set of supporting facilities, which is normal. Mu Wanqing smiled and led the two of them along the way, strolling in Tianfu College. After you freshmen report, you will be assigned to different classes according to your specialties. Chen Mu is definitely in the melee class, and Xiao Lan, you should report to the maintenance class. Okay, so where do we live? Basically, the melee class is a dormitory for two people. You can also choose to challenge yourself and get an independent room. As for Shaolin, you can stay with your aunt. Chen Mu nodded. Challenge. What is the rule? The machine combat simulation cabin, where everything can reproduce the real scene, that is to say, the actions you can make in it must be possible in reality, so in order to avoid damage to the mecha, you usually choose the simulation cabin to fight. At present, there are 50 independent dormitories in the college. If you want to get a place in it, you must challenge the people in front. Chen Mu was taken aback. How many fighters do we have in Tianfu Academy? Currently there are 24,851 students and fighter divisions in school. Mu Wanqing replied immediately, and glanced at Chen Mu. More than 20,000 people, only 50 places. This is obviously a process of survival of the fittest, a test to select the strongest pilot. Thinking of this, Chen Mu's eyes lit up, obviously very satisfied with this rule, this rule is good, I like it. This scene also made Mu Wanqing nod secretly. Regardless of other things, this confidence alone is worthy of praise. Okay, I'll take you to report first, and then you have a day off, and you have to start studying tomorrow. Under the leadership of Mu Wanqing, the enrollment registration went very smoothly. So Chen Mu is making the bed in his dormitory at the moment, and the one in the dormitory with him is a little boy with a round face. It's just that this boy is very introverted. After talking to him for a few words, Chen Mu stopped talking when he saw his look of embarrassment. Just as Chen Mu was looking around, a pleasant voice sounded. Student, do you know where the new students register? Chen Mu turned his head to look, and a pretty face with an overwhelming beauty appeared in front of his eyes with a burst of youthful aura. 
Registration for freshmen. Are you from the combat department or the logistics department? Chen Mu asked. Combat system. The combat department reports for duty on the A2 floor. Chen Mu pointed in a direction. That's great. Thank you. What's your name? Chen Mu, what about you? My name is Jasmine. The girl smiled gently, and suddenly the whole world seemed to come alive. Chapter 11. Wow, the quality of freshmen this year is pretty good. Just when Chen Mu was about to speak, a male voice came from beside him. Chen Mu looked up and saw a group of people walking towards a boy with long green hair. Little girl, which school did you transfer from? From now on, follow me, Wu Zi, and I will cover you. Jasmine turned her head to look at Wu Zi, her eyes flickered for a while, and then she said coldly, no need. I don't know if it's an illusion, Wu Zi felt a chill all over his body when Jasmine glanced at him like this, and he couldn't speak immediately. It wasn't until Jasmine walked out for a long time that Wu Zi recovered. He didn't think about it, but turned to look at Chen Mu. Newcomer, well, what's the matter? Chen Mu smiled. What is your mecca? Wu Zi thought for a while and asked. Zaku, this is not a shameful thing, Chen Mu said truthfully. Zaku, Wu Zi looked in disbelief. Ha 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 ha, it turned out to be a B-level mecha. How long has it been since Tianfu Academy has such rubbish? Yeah, this is through the back door, right? Otherwise, how could a B-level mecha enter our Tianfu Academy? We are ranked 27th in the country. Boy, Tianfu Academy is not someone like you who came in through the back door. If you can stay, if you don't want to be labeled as a fool, you should quit school as soon as possible. Wu Zi also laughed. Come on, I thought we could take a few to our Valkyrie team this year. Let them leave this kind of rubbish. Seeing the group of students passing by triumphantly, Chen Mu touched his chin and smiled. This school is a bit interesting, and the infighting is quite fierce. After turning around, Chen Mu came to the mech training center, and got an independent training room after swiping his new student card. Zaku stood in front of him calmly, looking like a steel titan, giving people an extremely calm feeling. Except for the rather abrupt sickle. Looking at the mech, Chen Mu felt his blood boil. It is every man's dream to become a pilot flying in the sky. Chen Mu even felt that he should be a pilot by nature. Self-inspection completed. The engine has been repaired by 1%. Exoskeleton armor repair progress 0%. The whole system starts. Chen Mu took a deep breath, and the scene of chopping off Apollo's head with a knife flashed through his mind last time, and he felt a little doubt in his heart. Is the setting of Mecha faster than that of Feng Hao, who has been instructed by a famous teacher? Does this mean that his hand speed is faster than his? A pilot's hand speed has a huge bonus for Mech combat. However, the hand speed training method that his father told him to learn is just the most common method. Shaking his head, Chen Mu discarded the distracting thoughts in his mind, and began to practice the basic movements one by one. This is a running in process with the mecha, and Xing Yan's operation is extremely complicated, and the complexity of his instructions even exceeds that of the SSS mecha. So this requires Chen Mu to spend more energy and time on training and proficiency. After six hours of training, the exhausted Chen Mu climbed out of the cockpit, put away the Xingyan, and ended his first day of freshman. The welcome ceremony for new students was also held as scheduled. This time Tianfu Academy enrolled a total of 50 students. It's not that Tianfu Academy is unwilling to recruit more, but because among the students who have awakened mechas in the country, there are not too many A-level students. In addition to the recruiting and diversion of other colleges, 50 high-level mechas can be recruited, is already a good result. As for A-level and below, some will be recruited every year, but those who do not need a welcome ceremony, and the admission time will be postponed for half a month. In the world of pilots, strength is the basis for measuring everything. Of the 50 pilots, there are 7 close combat pilots, 15 long-distance combat pilots, and the rest are logistics department. After Principal Yi Zan's welcome speech, several directors and teachers also delivered speeches. Next, there is a selection process. Because the internal competition of Tianfu Academy is very fierce, it is also divided into many small teams. And the new freshmen will be selected by these teams. The battle with the alien beasts is based on the team, which is also my future teammates. Among the 23 fighter divisions, 
there were two S-class mechas, namely Jasmine's Melee Mech Sulfriyi and Yi Zing's Long Distance Mecha Kuangfang. So these two immediately received invitations from all the squad leaders. It's just that neither of them made an immediate statement. As freshmen joined the team one after another, there were only three people left on the scene who failed to join the team. The most embarrassing one was Chen Miu. Because among the 50 people, only he was a B-level mech, so he was naturally looked down upon by all the teams. Chen Miu touched his nose and said, Can I create a team by myself? In principle, it's possible, but we don't approve of freshmen starting their own teams, because you haven't really competed with alien beasts, and you don't know the strength of alien beasts. If you have veteran students leading the team, your chances of survival will be higher. A teacher spoke up. As you can see, no one wants it. Since it is possible in principle, then I will create my own team. Chen Miu laughed. Following Su Emu's words, the surroundings looked at him with contempt and disdain. Ha ha ha, this year's freshmen are really crazy. It doesn't matter. When you are beaten by a strange beast and cry for your father and mother, you will naturally wake up. That's right, there are always people who won't die until they reach the Yellow River, and don't shed tears when they don't see the coffin. I'll offer 10 yuan to bet that he won't survive a month. Then I'll bet 5 yuan too, betting that he won't survive the first alien beast space. Chen Yu turned a deaf ear to the discussions around him and just looked at the teacher. Zhang Chushui shook his head, frowning. In fact, he was also very dissatisfied with Mu Wanqing for bringing such an oil bottle to school. However, Mu Wanqing was the maintenance master of Tianfu Academy, and Zhang Chushui didn't want to offend her. But this does not prevent him from hating Chen Mu very much. The second generation ancestor who walked through the back door, and who is so ignorant of current affairs and unable to see the reality clearly, is basically a cannon fodder. That's why Zhang Chushui's voice became colder. You can go to the academy's team creation office to apply yourself, but there must be at least two team members, you can find another one yourself. After saying this, Zhang Chushui was too lazy to chat with Chen Mu anymore, turned around and left. Two people are necessary. Chen Mu frowned and turned to look at Mu Junlin. I can. Mu Junlin nodded immediately. Well, let's go now, both of us. Chen Mu Yil, Mu Junlin knows everything about herself, so she is very relieved. However, just as the two were about to leave, a cold voice sounded. Can I join? Chen Mu turned his head to look at the heroic Jasmine, feeling a bit undecided. Hearing that Jasmine was going to join the team of Chen Mu, a B-level pilot, all the team captains at the scene showed expressions of eating flies. Hey, little girl, don't you think that this strange beast space is a playhouse for children? That's right, if you form a team with these two idiots, you will be 100% implicated. Miss Jasmine, our invincible team is the third-ranked team in the school. I am the Captain Xiao Yuan. If you are willing to join, I can immediately make you a core member. Only S-level pilots are the core members. Xiao Yuan, you are too petty, Jasmine, come to our Tiandao team, I, Yang Ming, promise that you will be grateful for your choice today, because we are the team that returned most safely from missions. Hearing the voices of countless invitations around her, Jasmine remained indifferent and just looked at Chen Mu quietly, can I join? No, Chen Mu shook his head, pulled Mu Junlin around and left. Originally, Chen Mu didn't have any thoughts about Jasmine, but this woman happened to meet him asking for directions and wanted to join his team of B-level pilots. This made Chen Mu a little confused, so he rejected the other party without hesitation. This also made the audience silent. Jasmine's eyes flashed, but she didn't speak. This kid is too pretending. I think he might be afraid that he won't be able to control an S-class pilot. Xiao Yuan is right. This kid is obviously pretending to be a big onion here. It must be because we don't want him, so he put on a foolish look. What the hell, just wait and see, in a few days, he will have to cry and beg us to join the team. No matter what these people thought, Chen Mu had already dragged Mu Junlin to the team establishment. After filling out the form and going through the optical brain certification, you can form a team. After your team logo needs to be designed by yourself, submit it to me for registration. The mech identification signal also needs to be set. A teacher looked at the two of them, opened the optical screen in front of him, and asked Chen Mu to register by himself. What's the name? Mu Junlin asked excitedly. Well, my mech has a scythe, 
how about calling it the machete team? Ah, is it too casual? Niu Junlin was a little depressed. How come, this name is obviously very popular, ha ha ha. Not knowing what came to mind, Chen Niu burst out laughing. Thus, a small team of B-level fighter pilots and A-level maintenance pilots was established in this humble corner. Oh leave the team badge to you. It must be designed in a stylish way, and it will be worn on our pilot uniform. Chen Niu looked at the optical screen with satisfaction. Machete team, current level, zero. Creator, Chen Niu. Mecha, Zaku. Team member, Niu Junlin. Mech, Octopus. Team current points, zero. Team current reputation, zero. Team current task, zero. After participating in the training of the academy and passing the training, you can accept the task and enter the alien space. The corpses and blood of the alien beasts you obtained in the alien space can be brought back to exchange for college points. These points are your credits, which are related to whether you can graduate smoothly. At the same time, the points can also be exchanged for various supplies, materials, medicines and logistical equipment of the academy, as well as various training methods. In a word, with enough points, you can better strengthen yourself, so, machete team, work hard. Seeing the teacher's impassioned speech, Chen Mu was stunned. It sounded normal before, but why do these last few sentences feel so heavy? Mu Junlin covered her mouth and snickered, then pulled Chen Mu away from the team establishment. Ah Mu, I'm going back. I will definitely design the team logo for you. You have to train hard. Mu Junlin raised her little arm to cheer Chen Mu up. No problem, we will definitely become the most powerful team. Chen Mu looked serious. Um, the little girl kept nodding her head. After the two parted ways, Chen Mu went back to the dormitory and saw that the little fat man hadn't come back. Then he remembered that he should have joined Wu Zi's team. Obviously, this will be familiar with the team members. After making the bed, Chen Mu's mind sank into the mech space, quietly watching the motionless Xing Yan, with a look of thought in his eyes. There are still many things about Xing Yan that Chen Mu doesn't understand, and there are also many secrets, all of which require Chen Mu to spend time to understand. However, the most important thing now is to pass the academy training. Chen Mu has seen the academy's training plan before, and they are all very targeted training. Compared with high school, the intensity has increased by at least 300% and the requirements for being able to enter the foreign battlefield in the student days are also very strict. First of all, freshmen must pass the strength test, mech driving test, mech confrontation test, and hand speed test. Three of these four must achieve a score of 80 or more to be considered qualified. And all of this must be completed in just three months. Tianfu Academy has been established for hundreds of years, and it has never been able to independently enter the alien space during the three-month freshman period. Starting tomorrow, one day can't be wasted. You must pass the assessment as soon as possible. Let me see how powerful these strange beasts are. Chen Mu waved his hand fiercely, wash up, and go to bed. Dot dot dot. On the right side of the college, there is a hill that is not too high. From the foot of the mountain to the top of the mountain, a total of 50 single-family villas have been built. On the top of the highest mountain, that villa is the most luxurious. At this moment, three men and two women are sitting in the hall of the villa. I won't talk too much, Yi Tian. First of all, I welcome Jasmine to join our God team. Since our team name is called God, everyone must be like a God. A white-haired young man sat on the sofa with a cigarette on his back, looking at everyone. Captain, in the entire villa mountain, we occupy four of the six villas on the top floor, which is enough to explain. A short-haired girl looked at Yi Tian with fascination in her eyes. Bai Ya is right. Since Jasmine has also joined us, our team is the only all-S-ranked team in the school. We must help Jasmine build a villa as soon as possible. A simple and honest man said. Tishan, I'll leave this matter to you. The six buildings on the top floor will occupy as many buildings as there are people in our god team. This is our rule, Yi Tian said coldly. No problem, Captain. The strong man nodded. No need, the villa. I want to take it down myself. Jasmine's cold voice sounded. Yi Tian frowned, but didn't speak. Don't underestimate the enemy. Even though they are not as good as us, they still have S-class mechas, but you are just a freshman and haven't been trained by the academy system. 
The last boy with long hair covering one eye said lazily. Zhou Yu is right, Jasmine. Bai Ya followed suit. If I say no, I don't need it. Jasmine stood up, when can I challenge? Have a temper. Yi Tian showed appreciation. After passing the freshman training, you can challenge anyone in the entire Villa Mountain. In that case, then I'll go back to the dormitory first. Jasmine nodded, and walked out of the villa gate gracefully. Looking at her moving back, it took a long time for the teenagers to look away. This also made Baya reveal a gloomy look. Captain, she. It's okay, capable people always have a little pride. When she is hit, she will naturally understand the benefits of our team, and then she will be able to return to our team. Yi Tian grinned, his eyes were inexplicable. Okay, let's do a good job of supplying, we are going to enter the foreign battlefield in a few days. Yes, Captain, the four said at the same time. From today onwards, I will be your instructor and your homeroom teacher. My surname is Ma, you can call me Teacher Ma. Do you hear me, you rubbish? A strong man with big arms and round waist stood among the 23 freshmen and shouted loudly. The audience was silent at first, and then the voices of, I heard it, sounded one after another. Speak up, do you hear me? You rookies, garbage. Understood. This time the answer became much more tidy. Ma Jun glanced at Chen Mu and Jasmine fiercely, are you too deaf? Jasmine remained expressionless. Chen Mu grinned. Mr. Ma, it seems that I'm just your student, and I'm not the object of your beating and scolding. Here, I am your grandfather. Everything here must be obeyed by me, otherwise, you will suffer worse than death. Ma Jun said coldly. Then can I change the head teacher? Chen Mu didn't get angry, and continued to laugh. Interesting, you, and you, come out. Ma Jun raised his hand and pointed. Chen Mu and Jasmine exchanged glances before taking a step forward. The others ran a hundred laps around the playground for me, and the last ten didn't have lunch today. As soon as Ma Jun's words fell, the two assistant teachers grinned, threw out a long whip, and pressed a switch. With the sound of, stabbing, a burst of electric sparks came out of the long whip. One of them said, run faster, if you run too slowly, you will be whipped. Hearing this, all the freshmen immediately ran without hesitation. Ma Jun shook his neck and let out a, click, sound. Every year, I always have some thorns, thinking that I will be different from others, but this method will not work here. Will you go together, or will I clean up one by one? Just a reminder, I never differentiate between men and women when beating people. Chen Emu's eyes were fixed. He had already obtained the information about Ma Jun yesterday. The opponent was a retired special forces member of the military. His one-handed grasping skills were superb. The most important thing was that his strength was as high as 800 kilograms. Even after Chen Mu injected the strength potion, his strength has reached 230 kilograms, but it is far from enough. However, Chen Mu did not back down, but took another step forward and stood up. Yes, Ma Jun gave a thumbs up, and then without warning, he punched Chen Mu in the stomach. Just listening to the wind, one can know how terrifying the horse army's power is. The blowing wind made Chen Emu's cheeks hurt. This punch was astonishingly close to the extreme. At this moment, Chen Emu's spirit was concentrated unprecedentedly, and his pupils shrank to the size of a pinprick. His own strength, physical fitness, and perhaps even mental strength were far inferior to the opponent's. What honor do you have? In Chen Emu's mind, countless thoughts flashed like lightning, and the next moment, his right hand turned into countless phantoms and moved. Dot dot dot. Is it time for my son to join the Mecha Combat Squad? Lu Ruoxin brought the breakfast in front of Chen Shan, signaling him to have some porridge first. Chen Shan thought for a moment, picked up the porridge and sipped several sips. Well, judging from the day, if nothing else happens, today is the first day of freshman training. Then he should be able to handle it. Lu Ruoxin said worriedly. It's hard to say. According to my understanding of Tianfu Academy, the freshmen these few years have been trained by Ma Jun. That kid is strong, but his mouth is too bad. Xiao Emu's temper, absolutely can't bear it. Then what should we do? Lu Ruoxin asked in a hurry. It will probably be cleaned up, but this is not a bad thing for him. Ma Jun is still a very responsible instructor. However, if he contradicts him in front of all the freshmen, then Xiaomu will probably have a battle with him now. 
Chen Shan raised his wrist and looked at his watch, and then said, Xiaomu's physical fitness has been deliberately suppressed by me with various drugs. Only various hard training and actual combat can make him explode all the residual effects of the drugs. So this first battle is very important to him. If his heart is broken by that guy Ma Jun, then his achievements in this life will be limited. Ah, Lu Ruoxin glared at Chen Shan. Why didn't you remind Xiaomu? No, men have many hurdles, and they always have to go through it by themselves. Only he can make decisions. If he really broke down as a pilot, then I will bring him back. Being an ordinary person is also a good choice. Chen Shan said calmly. However, Xiaomu so much hopes to become a powerful pilot to repay us. Lu Ruoxin still couldn't let go. Compared to what you said, I'm more curious about Xiaomu's response at this moment. Chen Shan's eyes swept out the window, as if looking at Tianfu Academy thousands of miles away. At this moment, if he is facing the Shangma army, there is only one way to maintain a draw. His hand speed amazed me, the only extraordinary hand speed brought after learning the X-fingering. Chen Emu's right hand touched Ma Jun's right hand tiger's mouth and inside continuously in an instant. Under the strong pressure of Ma Jun, Chen Emu's hand speed was brought to the extreme. The continuous movement at this moment made his right hand look like an afterimage. Then, Ma Jun hit Chen Mu in the stomach with his arm. It's just that after being hit on the inside of the arm by Chen Mu more than a dozen times in a row, Ma Jun's packed punch became weak at this moment and did not cause any harm to Chen Mu. Chen Mu breathed a sigh of relief and then punched Ma Jun on the forehead. Ma Jun frowned as if he didn't feel Chen Mu's punch. He quietly withdrew his fist, his eyes flickered and then looked at Chen Mu, not bad speed. Chen Mu gasped and punched the opponent with a 230 kg punch on the forehead, but the opponent ignored it. How to fight this? In the next second, the Ma Jun's offensive rushed towards Chen Mu like a storm. However, this time Ma Jun did not know why and suppressed his punching power. Chen Mu's hands were like butterflies wearing flowers, constantly flashing to cope with the attack of the horse army. Every punch, every kick made Chen Mu feel like being hit by a sledgehammer, and he felt extremely tight in his chest. It's just that his speed is not as fast as Ma Jun's, so he can only block passively. For three full minutes, Chen Mu took over all of Ma Jun's attacks without stopping. Ma Jun paused and nodded. Okay, you pass the test, but boy, if you dare to contradict me in the future, I will not be so merciful. Thank you, instructor. Chen Mu knew that Ma Jun had kept his hand. Otherwise, with his 800 kg strength, even if he could block it, he would never be able to hold it, so he was a bachelor. Withdrawing his hands, Chen Mu realized that his two arms were swollen and drooped limply, as if he had lost consciousness. Take him to the infirmary. It is estimated that he will need two hours of treatment. Well, the treatment fee will be deducted from his future points. Ma Jun turned back and said. Yes. Another assistant coach also showed surprise in his eyes, obviously shocked by Chen Mu's performance. Glancing at Chen Mu who was taken away, Ma Jun turned to look at Jasmine. What about you, I hope I won't disappoint you. Jasmine's eyes kept turning, but she was looking at Chen Emu's back. Hearing Ma Jun's words, Jasmine's eyes returned to normal, and she said crisply, if I beat you, will I not have to take part in the freshman assessment? This year's freshmen are more arrogant than each other. Okay, if you beat me, I can call you an instructor. Ma Jun spit on the ground, clapped his hands, and signaled Jasmine to attack first. Jasmine's face straightened, and the next moment, she who was wearing a camouflage uniform charged forward like a whirlwind. Ma Jun's pupils shrank sharply, and as soon as he raised his hands, he felt a chill on the back of his neck and passed out. Jasmine clapped her hands and looked at the teaching assistant. You saw, it was the instructor who asked me to do it first. The assistant teacher swallowed and nodded. Then I'll go first, and you can tell the instructor later that you are willing to admit defeat. Jasmine smiled sweetly, turned around and walked in the direction Chen Mu left. On the front where no one saw, Jasmine's eyeballs turned blood red, and the movements of Chen Mu's hands just now flashed and analyzed. The first day of training for freshmen caused an uproar in the entire Tianfu Academy. Originally, Chen Mu blocked the horse army for three minutes, but under Jasmine's terrifying record, it was covered up. For a moment, 
Jasmine's limelight overshadowed all the influential figures in the school. Even the principal and various directors were alarmed and rushed to the freshman training base one after another. At this moment, Ma Jun, who just woke up, looked at a loss. I didn't expect an S-class fighter to appear again in our Tianfu Academy. She's still a freshman, Jasmine, right. Send all her materials to my office immediately. The smile that could not be concealed from the corner of the headmaster's mouth seemed a bit wretched no matter how you looked at it. A group of directors are all smiling. And it's still an S-level pilot. There are less than 10 newcomers in this combination in our academy in the past few hundred years. Yeah, I don't know what kind of surprises it can bring us. I want this Jasmine, I can add one more quota of disciples in the inner courtyard of the school. A long-haired woman came over. Mr. Zhang, you actually came out of the inner courtyard. It's really rare. Such a big event, I will definitely not miss it. Zhang Ying looked around and said to the principal, this student does not need to participate in the freshman assessment, I will take it away. Okay, train well. The principal seemed not surprised by Zhang Ying's arrival, still smiling. Zhang Ying nodded and left here. The news that Jasmine defeated the instructor with one move also reached Chen Emu's ears at this moment. After hearing the news, Chen Mu was silent for ten minutes, then silently pulled out his arms soaked in the container and walked out of the medical room. In Chen Emu's bones, the gene of never admitting defeat is engraved. He was still a little secretly happy, but after learning of Jasmine's record, he was not shocked, but was full of fighting spirit. Shaking his hands, Chen Mu felt that his whole body was full of strength, and this sense of strength seemed stronger than before. I don't know if it's my own illusion. Thinking of this, Chen Mu found Ma Jun without hesitation. Because he wants to experiment. What, didn't you fight just now? Ma Jun had already recovered from Jasmine's blow at this moment, with a cigarette in his mouth, he squinted at Chen Mu. Just kidding, instructor, did you get fooled by Jasmine? Chen Mu chuckled. This sentence immediately made Ma Jun's face turn pale, and he kicked over. Chen Mu's eyes froze, and he punched Ma Jun's calf without hesitation. At the same time, his hand speed with both hands was also displayed again. This battle, Chen Mu lasted for six hours, and then he stopped weakly. Wait, wait, that's it for today. Seeing Ma Jun swinging his fist again, Chen Mu hastily shouted. Ma Jun nodded. If you want to reach Jasmine's level, you are still far away. Chen Mu didn't answer either. I'll see you tomorrow. After speaking, Chen Mu turned and left. Looking at his back, Ma Jun's mouth turned solemn. This kid, after only a few hours, has doubled his attributes, this terrifying toughness, and his hand speed. This talent probably surpasses Jasmine's. Who exactly trained him? No, he must have other secrets, otherwise it would be impossible to make such rapid progress in just one day. This training method is very similar to that person. Ignoring Ma Jun's thinking, Chen Mu had already arrived at the infirmary. The level of medical treatment in this world is very high, no matter how serious the injury is, as long as it does not die on the spot, it can be recovered. Lying in the healing fluid at this moment, feeling the comfortable temperature, Chen Mu fell asleep quietly. Without his knowledge, his body seemed to be undergoing some kind of weak but continuous changes. Hey, classmate, it's time to wake up. A gentle female voice awakened Chen Mu from his sleep. Ah, okay, I've been fine for a long time, but you seemed tired, so I didn't wake you up. A girl with twin ponytails smiled and looked at Chen Mu. Thank you, what time is it? It's 11 o'clock in the evening, you should go back to the dormitory. Chen Mu nodded, climbed out of the treatment cabin, and walked out the door. Nothing to say all night. Early in the morning, a refreshed Chen Mu finished washing up and came to the training ground of the class. Today, I will train everyone's hand speed. Since everyone has come to Tianfu Academy, it must be because of Tianfu Academy's hand speed training method. From today, I will teach you the first stage. Ma Jun's loud voice rang out. With his introduction, each student also got a box of steel balls. Ma Jun picked up ten steel balls casually, and as he moved his right hand, the ten steel balls began to collide with each other under the control of his palm. There is no trace of the trajectory of this kind of steel ball after impact, so if you want to completely control ten steel balls in the palm of your hand, you must have a very fast reaction. 
and your fingers can't slow down yet. Seeing the continuous impact of the steel balls in Ma Jun's hand, all the students gasped. Instructor, your hand speed has at least reached S rank, right? Yeah, it's horrible. If I can practice to this point, then my mecha control will be raised to a higher level. Looking at the excitement in the eyes of all the students, Ma Jun didn't look happy at all. If it was yesterday, he might still brag about it, but after seeing Chen Emu's terrifying hand speed, Ma Jun felt that it was not a wise choice. Okay, today's training starts. You start with five steel balls, and you can gradually increase the number of steel balls. Chen Mu picked up the five steel balls with great interest and moved them quickly. But soon, he felt that the number of steel balls was too small, which was meaningless. So he poured out a box of steel balls. These steel balls are not big, 30 in a box. Then, Chen Mu took a deep breath, and the phantom of his right hand reappeared, and countless steel balls made a dense, scalp-numbing sound. At this moment, Chen Mu had nothing to do but control the impact of the steel ball with all his heart. The cigarette in Ma Jun's mouth fell gently to the ground. The founder of this training method has reached the pinnacle and can only control 23 steel balls. 30, is that the limit he predicted based on the function of the human body. Besides, looking at Chen Emu's relaxed appearance, if it wasn't for the size of his palm that limited him, I'm afraid this would not have reached his limit. Really, scary kid, why are you all at this monster level this year? After seeing Chen Emu's terrifying hand speed, Ma Jun pondered for a moment and interrupted Chen Emu's training. What? Chen Mu, who was playing vigorously, looked at Ma Jun with a displeased face. Stop practicing, you have passed the hand speed test. Ma Jun was also very upset. This year's freshmen are too unlovable, and they don't respect themselves as instructors at all. Ha, huh, that's passed, I haven't warmed up yet. Chen Mu looked blank. Ma Jun clenched his fists tightly. This kid, is he playing tricks? It must be. It's just that he misunderstood Chen Mu. Because Chen Mu has never felt that his hand speed is faster, in his opinion, this Tianfu Academy is famous all over the country for its hand speed training method, so they must be masters. If I can easily control 30 steel balls, it must be easier for these teachers. So Chen Mu didn't slack off in any way, but was training hard. Moreover, he keenly felt that this steel ball training gave him some room to relax his hand speed, which had been stagnant for a long time. As expected of Tianfu Academy, this training method is really not forged. Chen Mu thought silently. If Ma Jun knew what Chen Mu was really thinking, he would probably vomit three liters of blood. Looking at Chen Mu's expression at the moment, Ma Jun became more and more unhappy. Just pretend. Come here. Looking at the instructor walking aside, Chen Mu followed with a puzzled expression. Starting from today, your hand speed training will be done alone. This is a reward for your nine hours of perseverance yesterday. Ma Jun thought for a moment before he said, Allah, is there such a good thing? Let's fight again today. Chen Mu eagerly raised his fist. You, still want to be beaten? Ma Jun looked incredulous. Didn't you go to the treatment cabin enough yesterday? No, Chen Mu yelled angrily and kicked him. Then, he was kicked back by Ma Jun again. The two fought again. Oh, it's not a battle, it's the indiscriminate bombing of the horse army. Only this time, Chen Emu's defense was tighter and lasted longer. On the other side, the results of the students' first steel ball training were also released. A total of six students broke through five steel balls. Among them, Yi Xing, who won the SMAC, broke through to nine. Therefore, he also stood in the queue with his head held high. Seeing the end here, Ma Jun repelled Chen Mu, came in front of the crowd, and took the assistance record sheet. If in the past, some freshmen broke through to nine steel balls in the first training, Ma Jun would be very pleased. But this time, with Chen Emu's crazy performance of 30, Yi Xing's nine is particularly pale. Yi Xing, who thought the instructor would praise him, also frowned. Well, it's not bad. For the next month, you guys will go back and give me hand speed training every day. After a month's assessment, those who can't control 10 steel balls will be unqualified and will be downgraded. Ma Jun said coldly. Ha, huh, 10 is considered qualified, isn't this too difficult? Yes, I'm afraid only Yi Xing and the others have a chance. 
This is simply outrageous. I changed six of them and lasted for only one minute, and I couldn't stand it anymore. Looking at the students who were discussing a lot, Ma Jun shouted, Listen, this must be achieved. I believe you all know what the relegation process is. If you fail to pass the freshman assessment, then you can only follow those who are below the B level. Pilots, enter the second echelon. This is an assessment point for your future graduation, advancement, or joining various groups. Don't think that everything will be perfect after entering Tianfu Academy. If you don't work hard, it will harm your own future. Have you heard everything? Yes, instructor. A group of students all drank loudly. Next, all the staff will run 100 laps around the playground, and the last 10 will have no food. This is today's training, and tomorrow we will start the mecha combat simulation training. Seeing the group of freshmen start running immediately, Ma Jun thought for a moment, then walked straight outside the playground. Soon, a huge building appeared in front of me, with an extremely conspicuous sign on it, Logistics Department. Here is where each combat team takes over tasks. It is also the existence of logistical supplies. In Tianfu Academy, this is the place where pilots come most often. Ma Jun's entry also caused many students to salute, Hello, instructor. Most of the students here were taught by Ma Jun in their freshman days. Ma Jun nodded, quickly entered the elevator, and soon came to the top floor and rang the doorbell. Come in, came a voice full of air. Ma Jun opened the door and walked in, saying respectfully, Teacher. Oh, it's Ma Jun, what's the matter? I heard that this year's freshmen have arrived, why don't you go to training, what are you doing here? Yi Jingxuan lay on the chair, with his feet raised on the desk in a very unstyled manner, looking to Ma Jun. I met a very strange kid, so I came here to report to you. Oh, you guys like to exaggerate, tell me, how strange is it? Yi Jingxuan became a little interested, and turned his mouth to one side, signaling Ma Jun to sit down. Ma Jun sat down respectfully, with a straight body, today's steel ball training, he directly controlled 30 steel balls. Yi Jing, who had just picked up the teacup, sprayed Ma Jun's head and face with Zan Yi Lo Ti. Seeing Ma Jun's disheveled face, Yi Jingxuan stopped his shock, and said nonchalantly, the next time I say such a thing, remember when I don't drink tea. Ma Jun wiped the tea off his face in embarrassment, without showing any anger, he still respectfully said, Teacher, I didn't lie. Of course I know you're not lying, but with your cowardly character, how dare you lie in front of me? Yi Jingxuan smiled. In the army, Ma Jun, known as the runaway tiger, looked at Yi Jingxuan with embarrassment, Teacher, I am 40 years old this year. What's wrong? I can't talk about you when I'm old. You are 100 years old, and you are still a kid in front of me. Yi Jingxuan raised his eyebrows. Yes, yes, teacher, you are what you say. Ma Jun touched his head with a helpless expression. Well, are you really sure it's 30? Yi Jingxuan nodded and asked with satisfaction. Sure, I was next to him at the time. Yi Jingxuan's face couldn't help changing, he looked out the window for a while, and then said, such a seedling is worth a gamble, you block all his information, remember, you must not let him enter the inner court. Now these old fools in the inner courtyard are all rotten people. They only know how to fight for fame and fortune. They have completely forgotten the original intention of our pilots. Only this logistics department is the only pure land in Tianfu, HMPH. Then I, let him come directly to the logistics department. Ma Jun asked in deliberation. Don't worry. Let's see how his other assessments are. You should do your best to make sure he fails the assessment, so that he can come to our logistics department. Others, wait until I meet him once. What, teacher, you want to meet him in person? Ma Jun was really shocked this time. If what you said is true, then you can bet on this kid's future. Yi Jingxuan shook his head. I am old, and there are some things that must be left to future generations. If he really meets my expectations, that would be great. Teacher, you are only in your seventies, and you are in good health. Why are you so old? After fighting for decades, oh, I'm sorry, teacher, I'm a fast talker. It's nothing, I can't drive the mecha anymore, it's not something shameful, but you, because of me, retreated from the army, wasting a great future. Yi Jingxuan showed nostalgia on his face. Those are nothing, I have no father or mother. I should be able to do something for the teacher. Ma Jun said respectfully. 
You, oh. Yi Jingxuan shook his head, and then said again, Remember to bring Chen Emu's test data to me as soon as possible. Okay, teacher, then I will pass. Go. Yi Jingxuan nodded, and lay back in the chair, like an ordinary old man, lying quietly like this, looking at the sun outside the window. Dot dot dot. Chen Mu, who was running, found that his physical strength seemed to be inexhaustible. This is the first time for Chen Mu to run 100 laps. He has run about 50 laps at most before, and one lap is 400 meters, which is 20 kilometers. And this kind of running, the speed cannot be slowed down, otherwise it will be whipped by the magnetic whip. That taste is absolutely sour. After entering the 60th lap, Chen Mu discovered his abnormality. Whenever I feel exhausted, it seems that there is always some new force in my body to support me to continue running. At this moment, he has already started to circle the students behind him. Those who can join Tianfu Academy are naturally not ordinary students. However, after the 60th lap, more and more people fell behind. By the 70th lap, there were only three people who could maintain the formation. Chen Mu still led the way. Behind him, Yi Xing and Wu Fan kept adjusting their breathing rhythm, gritted their teeth, and followed 10 meters behind him with difficulty. When Ma Jun came over, he saw such a scene. This guy, how could he run so fast and have such strong physical strength? Yi Xing was in disbelief. As a descendant of the Yi family in Jingdu, he has obtained countless resources since he was a child. If his father hadn't asked him to study here, he would have looked down on Tianfu Academy no matter what. According to his own prediction, he should be one of the top five colleges in the country. However, the father's order is consistent in the whole family. So Yi Xing had to wrong himself to come to this Tianfu Academy. But what I didn't expect was that the freshman actually had an S-class mecha, she was still a delicate girl, and the most important thing was that the other party knocked out the instructor with one blow. This dealt a big blow to the proud Yi Xing. But, after all, she is also like a proud girl of heaven. But today, Yi Xing suffered the biggest blow in his life. That guy, Chen Mu. His mecha is just B-level Zaku, right? A guy who entered through the back door actually beat himself in terms of physical strength. The fire in Yi Xing's heart burned up. It's impossible to lose to such a guy. Yi Xing mobilized all the strength in his body, and followed behind Chen Mu desperately. 80 laps, 90 laps. Seeing Chen Mu getting further and further away from him, Yi Xing burst out. He felt as if he had broken the shackles, and his spirit began to override his body. Looking at the clock ahead, Yi Xing rallied his last remaining strength and rushed over with great difficulty. Yi Xing, who fell to the ground, looked at the teaching assistant, where's Chen Mu? Over there, it's already over a lap ahead of schedule. Yi Xing rolled his eyes and passed out. Chen Mu took a deep breath for a while and calmed down. Looking at a group of students who were still running and Yi Xing who was fainting, Chen Mu touched his chin, it doesn't make sense, is it because they are too weak? But those who can awaken mechas above A level should have good talent, right? Maybe it's because I have better endurance, um, it's very possible. While muttering, Chen Mu looked at Ma Jun with an excited look on his face, the instructor is back. Why? Ma Jun looked at the excited guy warily. Dual practice. Chen Mu cheered and rushed towards Ma Jun. Come again. Ma Jun looked pale. That's right, I think I prefer sparring with instructors rather than running. Chen Mu slapped Ma Jun unceremoniously. Are you looking for a fight? Ma Jun's nose was twisted with anger. This slap was aimed at the face. So Ma Jun decided to teach Chen Mu a profound lesson. At this moment, the 800 kilogram punch burst out unreservedly. As soon as it touched, Chen Mu jumped up with grinning teeth. Instructor, are you serious? Ma Jun didn't say a word, vowing to beat this nasty boy into submission. Thus, Chen Mu experienced the first painful encounter in his life. Although his terrifying hand speed prevented him from being knocked down by Ma Jun. But precisely because of this, he endured more punches. However, after an hour, Chen Mu found that he had learned to adapt to the instructor's heavy punches more and more. Two hours later, Chen Mu retreated. Wait a minute, my hands are numb. After saying that, Chen Mu turned around and ran, baring his teeth, and soon came to the infirmary. The pair of ponytails looked at Chen Mu and blinked. Student, why is it like this again today? 
I can't help it, that old guy is bullying others, and he can't beat him for the time being, hey, why is it you again today? I am a transferred nurse here, and I will definitely be here. Okay, what's your name? My name is Chen Mu. You can call me Amy. The twin tails smiled and pushed Chen Mu into the treatment cabin. Feeling the comfort from his body, Chen Mu fell into a deep sleep again. Under this kind of sleep, the recovery of body functions is extremely fast, and with the various auxiliary medicines in the treatment cabin, Chen Mu can recover faster. What Chen Mu didn't know was that each opening of the treatment cabin required at least 50,000 credits. It's just that this expense was cancelled by Yi Jingxuan's notification, otherwise Chen Mu would not be able to enjoy this kind of service. Mr. Yi, why are you here? Amy looked at the old man in front of her with a look of surprise. When was he last recovered? Yi Jingxuan looked at Chen Mu in the treatment cabin and asked. The first time it took two hours, and the second time it returned to normal within an hour. Amy said respectfully. This resilience is a bit weird. Yi Jingxuan frowned. Yes, for ordinary people with his injuries, even if they use this treatment cabin, it will take more than four hours. While manipulating the device, Amy observed the changes in various indicators above, today he recovered faster. According to the current progress, it may only take half an hour to recover. Yi Jingxuan nodded. Very good, starting from today, as long as he comes here for treatment, you should make it clear to him that he needs to pay back these expenses in the future. Okay, minister. Amy nodded. Watching Yi Jingxuan leave, Amy suddenly found that she was a little curious about Chen Mu. It actually alarmed Minister Yi, but that was the existence of the entire Tianfu Academy who would never leave the logistics department. What is the reason for this Chen Mu, so that such a talented person can notice it? I heard he was still a freshman. Amy looked at Chen Mu's handsome face, as if she wanted to see a flower. The progress of Chen Mu's recovery was as Amy expected, and it took only 32 minutes to wake up. Feeling the sense of strength filling his body, Chen Mu jumped out. The recovery is pretty good, but student Chen Mu, I have to remind you that our treatment cabin is very expensive. When you get points in the future, remember to pay back the bill. No problem. Chen Mu nodded quickly, but the scene of himself fighting Ma Jun kept appearing in his mind. The more he thought about it, the more Chen Mu realized, so he ran out immediately. At this moment, Ma Jun was lecturing to the group of freshmen. Instructor, here I come. Chen Mu cheered and rushed towards Ma Jun. Ma Jun looked at Chen Mu who was rushing over with a depressed face. Before he could speak, Chen Mu slapped him again. Wait, Ma Jun blocked Chen Mu's blow with a palm, but he didn't expect Chen Mu's hand to move quickly, slashed four times on his arm, and then kicked him. Boom, Ma Jun's face changed, and after he raised his leg to block it, his vision blurred. Seeing that Chen Mu had disappeared, Ma Jun thought something was wrong, and the next moment, a gust of wind came from behind. As a vanguard-level existence in an army, Ma Jun's fighting skills are definitely top-notch. He didn't even look at it, just a dragon wagging its tail and swiped at Chen Mu. Then turned around. Behind him, it was still empty. This time, Ma Jun was really numb all over. Chen Mu predicted his actions. To suffer. Just as this idea came to Ma Jun's mind, his waist and eyes felt numb. It was Chen Mu who punched him fiercely on the waist with incomparable swiftness. Rao is a strong and healthy expert like Ma Jun, and his face immediately changed when his weakness was hit so hard. Drink, Ma Jun yelled loudly, and punched him again, with a violent sound of wind. It's just that Chen Mu was like a slippery loach. Before the Ma Jun attacked, he had already taken another step and came to his side and rear. Another severe pain came from the waist and eyes on the other side. Chen Mu knew very well that at this moment, his strength was absolutely not dominant, and his greatest honor was his speed. He's fast and has quick hands. Moreover, the experience of being constantly beaten by Ma Jun in the past two days made him fully understand Ma Jun's strength, so he didn't hold back at all. It's just that Chen Mu doesn't know that his strength at this moment has at least increased by half compared to the previous day. If the test is carried out at this moment, Chen Mu will find that his punching strength has reached more than 400 kilograms. This power is no longer negligible for Ma Jun. However, at Chen Mu's speed, Ma Jun lost the opportunity and never found a chance to counterattack. 
Chen Emu's attack lasted for an hour and made no mistakes. An hour later, Ma Jun rolled his eyes and fell straight to the ground. Thus, after Jasmine, another existence appeared in Tianfu Academy who knocked out the instructor. This scene made the scalps of all the freshmen tingle in shock. Compared to Jasmine, what Chen Mu has done is even more unbelievable. After all, according to everyone's knowledge, his talent is limited and he can only awaken B-level mechs. However, looking at the instructor lying on the ground and still twitching, everyone swallowed at the same time, and listed Chen Mu as extremely dangerous in their hearts. Yi Xing's eyes were straightened, thinking that he was going to compete with Chen Mu just now, he couldn't help but shudder. Soon, after the medical staff arrived, Ma Jun came to life. After watching Chen Mu for a while, Ma Jun exploded. As a long list of national quintessence kept popping out of Ma Jun's mouth, Chen Mu shrank his neck and ran away resolutely. What are you laughing at? Ma Jun looked at the group of melon-eating students in a smoldering voice, keep running. If anyone doesn't want to run, that's fine. Come and fight me. Seeing Ma Jun clenched his fists, all the students immediately started running in silence. Just kidding, the instructor is obviously very angry now, if he is going to practice against him at this time, won't he be beaten out? Even Yi Xing lost the arrogance of the children of the aristocratic family at this moment and started running honestly. Looking at the place where Chen Mu disappeared, Ma Jun took a deep puff of cigarette, Maid, this kid has improved so fast, it's only been a day, what a freak, MMP. Regardless of Ma Jun's depression, Chen Mu on the other side is constantly recalling this victory with Ma Jun. This victory is of extraordinary significance to Chen Mu. After all, the instructor can be regarded as the most powerful person Chen Mu has ever come into contact with. To be able to win in the hands of such a person, although some tricks were played, it was still a very rare victory. Chen Mu is full of confidence at the moment, and he can't wait to find another coach to sum up his experience. It's just that there are not many people in the whole academy, so Chen Mu is a little bit uncomfortable. Just then, he spotted a person. This is an old man. Strictly speaking, this is a very handsome old man. The reason why he was discovered was because Chen Mu saw that the other party had been staring at him. What's wrong? Chen Mu looked around and asked with some doubts. Are you a freshman? Yi Jingxuan smiled. Well, are you the teacher here? I'm not a teacher, I'm just a handyman. Yi Jingxuan shook his head. I've seen many freshmen like you, and they all want to come to the mecha class. What do you think it's all for? For a dream, Chen Mu said seriously. Oh, let's hear it. What dream is so important? Yi Jingxuan showed anticipation. Do you have to say this? Chen Mu suddenly looked at the old man with some embarrassment. Young man, is there anything you dare not say? I am not afraid of a bad old man. Okay, then don't tell others. Chen Mu grinned. This is a secret I never told you, but you are pleasing to the eye, so I will tell you. Chen Mu looked serious and whispered said. Tell me. Yi Jingxuan smiled. After becoming an official pilot, my parents can receive monthly government allowances. Yi Jingxuan looked confused. That's it. Yes, this is a very great dream. Chen Mu nodded solemnly. Yi Jingxuan suddenly felt that he didn't know what to say. Chapter 21 Why, this dream is not good? Chen Mu asked with a frown. Very good, very good, but you are in a hurry, what are you planning to do? Yi Jingxuan smiled, looked at Chen Mu and said, shouldn't freshmen be trained? Yeah, but I knocked the instructor out just now, and now he's angry, so it's better not to go. Instructor, is it Ma Jun? Yi Jingxuan's eyes burst into light, and then quickly disappeared. Chen Mu didn't notice Yi Jingxuan's strangeness, so he nodded. Ma Jun's fighting skills are very poor. It's nothing if you beat him. You should control the mech to fight with the beast. That's a man's fight. Yi Jingxuan thought for a while, and immediately said. Ma Jun is bad. Chen Mu had an expression on his face that you were lying to me. What? You thought he was very powerful. You saw a freshman knocked him out with one move yesterday, and you knocked him out again today. Isn't that a sufficient explanation? Allah, it seems to be oh. Chen Mu hesitated. Could it be that he is really good, but we are more good, so we think he is good? Exactly, so you young people still need more tempering. Yi Jingxuan nodded. Don't think that you will be complacent after defeating Ma Jun. If you don't believe me, 
you will know when you take part in the assessment and become an official pilot, that's a very difficult thing to do. Chen Mu was silent for a while, and said this time, Old man, you are right, I still need to work harder, but I am very confident in passing the assessment. Really, how about we make a bet? Yi Jingxuan smiled. Okay, what's the bet? Hearing this, Chen Mu became excited. If you fail the assessment, you won't be able to enter the first echelon anyway, let alone the inner courtyard. I just need a handyman. You have to come and help me with things. Then what if you lose? Chen Mu asked cautiously. If I lose, I will give you an S-level comprehensive strengthening injection. Chen Mu looked incredible. Old man, do you know what S-level comprehensive strengthening injection is? Don't lie to me here. Yi Jingxuan didn't speak, and suddenly took out a box from his pocket. Following Yi Jingxuan's operations, the mechanism of the box was activated continuously, revealing a glass container, in which lay a tube of injection quietly. Through the glass, Chen Yu saw that the liquid in the injection was like a living thing, revealing colorful colors, constantly flowing and beautiful. This is the legendary S-level all-enhanced injection that can reach hundreds of mechas. Chen Yu stared dumbfounded. Exactly, this injection can make all your bodily functions twice as strong as before. How about it? Bet or not? Bet, old man, don't renege on your debt when the time comes. Chen Yu slammed his fist on the ground. Your injection will be mine when the time comes. As long as you have the ability, a tube of injection is nothing. Yi Jingxuan calmly put the injection back into the box. Old man, you are not a simple person who can come up with such a thing. Tell me honestly, what do you do? I'm in the logistics department, and I'm a handyman who is responsible for exchanging various rewards. Ah, Chen Yu looked around, and suddenly lowered his voice. I said, you probably stole this from the logistics department secretly, right? You are really brave. Hush, Yi Jingxuan was taken aback, and then lowered his voice. Can you talk nonsense about such things? That's why you're being unkind. Since you have this opportunity, why don't you take more? Chen Mu said angrily. Yi Jingxuan was speechless, and then tapped Chen Mu on the head. You think this is a Chinese cabbage? This is the only one in Tianfu Academy. Awesome. Chen Mu was not angry, and gave Yi Jingxuan a thumbs up. At the same time, Chen Mu also became interested in the logistics department. Of course, how much of this interest is due to the countless materials and good things is unknown. Then let us gentlemen say. Yi Jingxuan raised his right hand. A four horse is hard to catch. Chen Mu slapped him. The scene of the old and the young clapping each other's hands seems to be frozen under the reflection of the setting sun. The two looked at each other, both full of winning smiles. Old man, my name is Chen Mu, what's your name? You can call me Lao Yi. Yi Jingxuan smiled. Okay, Lao Yi, just wait and cry. Chen Mu waved his hand and walked towards his dormitory. Chen Mu, remember not to cry when you report to the logistics office. You think too much, Lao Yi. Chen Mu walked away without looking back. Looking at his back, Yi Jingxuan touched his chin. Well, it's more powerful than I imagined. It seems that the assessment will be more difficult. How about using the abandoned assessment method? Well, this is very necessary. Chen Mu, don't blame me, who told you to behave so that I am a little worried. Chen Mu had dinner in the cafeteria and walked to the training ground. Compared with the improvement of physical fitness, Chen Mu has an extraordinary enthusiasm for mecha driving. So, once free to move around, the training room is his favorite place to be. The training room of Tianfu Academy is very complete and most importantly, it is free to use. Chen Mu looked at a Zhang communication card in his pocket. This is the unique identification card for every Longguo citizen, and it has various functions such as communication and bank card. Before he left, his mother told him to transfer some credit points to his card so that he would not wrong himself. But Chen Mu has never used it. Anyway, the 50 special students are free of board and lodging, and there is no fee, so Chen Mu doesn't know how much he has in his card. It's the best if you don't cause trouble to your parents. Chen Mu looked at the summoned Xing Yan. The appearance of Xing Yan at this moment is still Zaku's appearance, but Chen Mu doesn't care about these. Only strength is the key. Looking at the 12 meter tall mech, Chen Mu had a sudden idea. It takes at least 5 seconds to go to the cockpit with the lifting rope. 
If I can climb up directly, will it be easier? In the battle of pilots, unless the strength is evenly matched, the victory or defeat is usually determined within a few seconds. And whoever enters the cockpit first will naturally have a great advantage. Looking at the various barbs and joints on Zaku's body, Chen Mu stepped back two meters, jumped up after a run-up, firmly grasped a steel thorn, and then climbed up to the cockpit like an ape. Superior. 4.5 seconds, the proficiency is not enough, otherwise it should be controlled within three seconds. Seeing that his fantastic idea was confirmed, Chen Mu clapped his hands excitedly, and quickly climbed down from the mecha again. Then he began to constantly study his foothold. After more than 50 attempts like this, Chen Mu successfully shortened the time to enter the mecha to 2.36 seconds. This is already the limit time that Chen Mu can achieve at present. Next, Chen Mu activated the mecha. A 12-meter steel titan is constantly making various moves in this training ground. Some of them are as delicate as gymnasts. Evasion, maneuvering, Thomas maneuvering, arcing steps. As Chen Mu became more and more familiar with the mech, his unparalleled hand speed was also constantly displayed. The various movements of the mech are natural and full of beauty. Looking at a huge steel titan, doing all kinds of delicate attack movements, this gives a huge contrast. Chen Mu trained for four hours until late at night. And Yi Jingxuan quietly watched Chen Mu's training for four hours on his holographic screen, even reluctant to take his eyes off for a while. Seeing the sweaty Chen Mu coming down from the cockpit, Yi Jingxuan squeezed his hands tightly for the first time. Really, unparalleled fighting art, Chen Mu, who trained you, I'm really curious. Your talent should not be buried by those idiots in the inner courtyard. You are a real pilot. I will never be wrong about this. Don't worry. I will definitely get you a real top-level mecha. Only such a mecha is worthy of your control technology. I really want to see what step you can reach when you really grow up. However, before that, you must pass my test for you. After hundreds of years of fighting, there are countless mechas in this world that have lost their masters. Although most of them are incomplete and unusable, human beings are constantly on the road of evolution. The research on these mechas also reached a new level more than a hundred years ago. Mechas are not only available to soul-bound people, but the various parameters involved are extremely complicated. Even based on these mechas, the government has gradually launched mechas that ordinary people can use, but without exception, they have not achieved very good results. At most, there are enough of them. In the eyes of top pilots, or top alien beasts, this kind of ordinary human pilot is a pure living target. So so far, only the awakened, that is, people with soul-bound mechas, are the mainstream of the world. Yi Jingxuan, who was in deep thought, took a while to come back to his senses, and looked at the ring on his right ring finger. That is his mecha space button. It's just that this space button has been used for 20 years and has never been used. Yi Jingxuan's eyes seemed to flash countless images. Those are the past. It was a piece of gunpowder smoke and red land thousands of miles away. It was a huge battlefield like a flesh and blood mill. Yi Jingxuan's expression went from showing his sharp edge to finally falling silent. Old man, I found someone I can entrust, but I still need to go through various tests, so don't wrong you, continue to wait and wait. Your light should not be wiped out with me. Chen Mu walked to the dormitory a little tired. Today he fought with the instructor for another day, and then he had a super intensive mech training for four hours, which made him a little overwhelmed. At this moment, Chen Mu felt a strange feeling in his heart, it was a feeling of being stared at by something. It was as if a cold, merciless gaze was staring at his back. Chen Mu turned around abruptly, but found nothing. Strange, is it because you are too tired today? Chen Mu shook his head, looked around for a while, and then walked to the dormitory. Jasmine flashed past the window of a tall building about a few hundred meters away from his position. The straight line distance is 573 meters. The target seems to be aware of it. The target's perception exceeds the normal index by 5.21 times. The tracking level is adjusted from a level to S level. Jasmine made a series of mechanical sounds and then closed the curtains. Dot dot dot. As a pilot, the most important thing is naturally mecha training. So early the next morning, all the students came to the classroom immediately regardless of the fatigue of the previous day. This is a very large classroom, and there are dozens of cockpits in the classroom. 
To Chen Mu, it feels like learning computer lessons in the previous world. Ma Jun's loud voice sounded again. Everyone can choose a cockpit, log in your ID card information to complete the registration, and then enter the pilot simulation world. Later, after all the staff are finished, I will teach you mecha combat in the pilot simulation world. Teacher Wang Yang will teach you long-range combat skills in it. I'll give you 10 minutes to complete the settings. If you don't finish by the time, today's class will be cancelled. Hearing this, all the students rushed to the cockpit immediately. Chen Mu took the lead, entered the cockpit first, inserted the ID card into the slot in the cockpit, and put on the virtual helmet. With a flash in front of his eyes, Chen Mu found himself in a wide hall. An electronic mechanical voice sounded, Welcome to the pilot's virtual world, please click on the screen in front of you to submit your identity information. The identity verification information has passed. Chen Mu, a student of the Mecca Department of Tianfu College, your Mecca identification signal TFO31926. Mech information, parameters are being entered. Your Mecca is AB level Mecca Zaku, do you want to summon it immediately? Yes. As soon as Chen Mu said that, a black Zaku fell from the sky and landed in front of Chen Mu. Sharp, Chen Mu sighed in admiration, and climbed into the cockpit of the Mecca with hands and feet. However, upon entering, Chen Mu discovered something was wrong. Because this is a real Zaku. Instead of Xingyun wearing Zaku's skin. Could it be that this virtual world cannot replicate the real Xingyun, so it can only be given to Zaku? Chen Mu thought silently. However, at this moment, it is obvious that there is not much time for Chen Mu to think about it. Because the voice of the instructor has already sounded on the holographic screens of all the student mechs. All students, rush to the 9th assembly hall within 5 minutes. The last one to arrive will be shocked a hundred times. The relevant coordinates have been sent to your holographic screen, and the timing will start. Chen Mu's face darkened, and he began to set the parameters of Zaku's mecha. Because he drove Xingyun before, and the difference between Zaku and Xingyun is too great. So Chen Mu had to reset. At this time, the other students had already started their mechs and rushed frantically towards the 9th assembly hall. Chen Mu's hands kept gliding across the console, quickly setting various commands for the mecha. Ha, huh, why is Chen Mu motionless? What is this kid doing? Ma Jun sat in a heavy-looking mecha, quietly looking at the mechas of more than 20 students. At this moment, his holographic screen was divided into more than 20 pieces, and each piece was a mech flying rapidly. Except for Chen Emu's Zhigu who stayed in place, the other students were all scrambling to run. After 15 seconds, Zaku's one eye lighted up, and it finally started. The mecha squatted down, then jumped into the sky, and then circled in the air, flying towards the 9th assembly hall. The fastest flight speed is only Mach 2, which is too slow. Xingyun is almost completely destroyed, and it is Mach 3. Chen Mu complained, while constantly dodging various obstacles in the air. However, never give up. This is Chen Mu's consistent belief. Without Xingyun, even Zaku would have to do his best. Chen Mu didn't look at other students, but focused on controlling the Zaku, trying his best to keep the speed at the maximum speed. In this way, avoiding obstacles has reached the limit of Chen Mu's hand speed requirements. At this moment, among all the students, Yi Zing's Mecha Gust is the front one. Because it is an S-class mech, the speed increase is the fastest among all the students. Yi Xing didn't need to keep at the maximum speed at all, slow down to avoid obstacles, and then increase the speed immediately, allowing him to run in front with ease. At this moment, Yi Xing was also observing Chen Mu's performance. Seeing Chen Mu dodging various obstacles in a panic, Yi Xing showed his first smile after three days in the academy. Chen Mu, is it finally time for you to be deflated? Mecha control doesn't just need to be good at fighting. Yi Xing's hands were fast and slow, and the mecha was constantly turning around various obstacles, heading for the destination. At this moment, Chen Mu had already forgotten all other things, and the obstacles that kept appearing in front of him allowed him to concentrate unprecedentedly. This was something he had never encountered before. Zaku maintained the maximum speed from beginning to end. And Chen Mu's undivided attention also prevented him from realizing that he had started to catch up with those students. 50 kilometers away from the destination, at Zaku's top speed, it will take less than a minute. At this moment, 
Chen Emu's mecha had already reached the second place, and only Yi Xing's gale was left in front of him. Why is he flying so fast? Yi Xing became a little impatient, and began to increase the speed of the mech to the highest. But in this way, the oncoming obstacles are as fast as bullets fired. This requires a very strong nerve reflex speed and hand speed to adjust the direction change of the mecha. Yi Xing's energy at this moment was also unprecedentedly concentrated. No matter what, you can't lose to Chen Mu, he is a B-level mech. Yi Xing gritted his teeth and kept changing directions. However, as Chen Mu approached, Yi Xing finally became flustered and bumped into an obstacle without paying attention. Even with the hydraulic buffer device, the impact still made Yi Xing dizzy. Not good. Just when Yi Xing regained control of the mech and recovered, a black figure flew past him in an instant. Ah, Yi Xing shouted angrily, and started to speed up again. The two mechs were chasing after each other, frantically heading towards the finish line. Even with the superpower of the S-class mecha, Yi Xing still couldn't surpass Chen Mu when he was behind. Instead, he was bumped all over his head again because he couldn't dodge in time. Zaku made a beautiful emergency stop in the air and landed steadily in the ninth assembly hall. Ha, huh, Chen Mu let out a long breath, shouldn't it be the last one? Good job, Ma Jun's voice sounded on the holographic screen. Only then did Chen Mu see Yi Xing's gale reaching the finish line. It's actually the first place. These people are too weak. Chen Mu looked at the students who had come to the finish line with some disdain. Very good. It seems that everyone's foundation is relatively good. No one exceeds the prescribed time of 5 minutes, so this time they don't have to suffer the 100 electric shocks. Next, the long-range mechas go to Teacher Wang Yang, and the melee ones stay. As the mechas continued to move, there were only six mechas standing in place in front of Ma Jun's mechas. Mr. Wang, then I'll switch the channel. You can just take them to train. Ma Jun said. Okay, Teacher Ma. A deep voice sounded. Melee team, switch to voice channel 456. Chen Mu manipulated the holographic screen and switched the voice to the same channel. Next, I will explain to you the advantages and disadvantages of melee mechas and long-range mechas, as well as the training items. In combat, long-distance combat mechas are always the most lethal. There is no doubt about this, because their ultra-long-distance attacks are also more conducive to survival. However, is melee combat weaker than far combat? This depends on your courage. As a close combat pilot, you must have the courage to fight to the death. You need a stronger body and faster hand speed than long-range mechas. Because your mecha will collide with the alien beast, and will face the disgusting face of the alien beast at the shortest distance. Your hearts must be strong enough to support your continued fighting. Tell me, are you afraid? Ma Jun's roar sounded. Don't be afraid. Chen Mu and the other six shouted angrily at the same time. Very good. The first lesson of today's training is to collide with the alien beast. You have to get used to this kind of impact feeling, and you must be able to stabilize the mecha immediately after the collision, so as not to make the mecha lose its balance. You have to remember that you who are at the forefront must always deal with the alien beasts coming from all directions. It is impossible for you to not be attacked at all. How to dodge and how not to lose your balance after being attacked is the purpose of your training this time. Next, each of you enters the front aperture and begins impact training. Remember, you are not allowed to attack. You can only control the mech to balance after the impact. Once you attack, you will be prompted to fail once. After 10 times of failure, you will be able to continue entering after 24 hours, so please cherish this training opportunity. Because this is the guarantee of your future survival. Only by your own strength can you survive in the alien beast space. Start now. Chen Mu controlled Zaku, and immediately stood in the circle of light. In a blink of an eye, Chen Mu found himself in an extremely desolate desert area. Here, is the alien space. Chen Mu observed the scene on the holographic screen. Everywhere is barren, thousands of miles away. Numerous mecha wreckage and alien animal bones were scattered. Here, it seems like the end of the world. Crash training, start, please increase the speed of the mecha to the limit. With the sound of a mechanical sound, Chen Mu thought for a while, and immediately began to accelerate. Here seems to be boundless, Zaku's speed quickly increased to the limit of Mach 2, and began to move forward. 
At this moment, a monster with a huge ferocious head and dozens of tentacles hanging from its side rushed towards Chen Emu's Zaku from afar. This incident happened suddenly, Chen Emu's eyes froze, and before he could react, his hands instinctively moved across the console. Zaku made a beautiful change of direction and dodged the blow. Oops, my instincts are too fast. Chen Mu just had this thought when he heard a prompt. Impact failure, current count 1. Chen Emu's face darkened, why can't you dodge? However, the rules are like this, in order not to delay the day, Chen Mu gritted his teeth. The mecha continued to fly rapidly. Soon, another strange bird with huge wings and a long conical beak came roaring towards Chen Mu. Chen Emu's right hand instinctively swiped across the console again, the mech was about to change direction, but it stopped abruptly. The violent impact made Chen Emu's head sink, and under the force of the terrifying impact, the mecha began to turn around and fly away. Chen Mu felt that the world was spinning for a while, and the scenery on the holographic screen was constantly changing, so fast that it was hard to see clearly with the naked eye. Recalling the previous training, Chen Mu quickly stabilized the mech in 1.3 seconds. The impact index is 54, the impact force is average, and the adjustment speed is excellent. It is recommended to increase the difficulty to S level. Do you agree? It's still detected in real time. What happens if the difficulty increases? Chen Mu thought seriously. While he was thinking about it, the voice didn't ask any questions, it seemed to be waiting for Chen Mu's choice. Excellent. In less than a second, he first made an evasion and then cancelled it immediately. This reaction speed is comparable to that of an artificial intelligence brain. Ma Jun looked at the screen in front of him without blinking. It was divided into six small pieces. It's just that Chen Emu's piece is twice as big as the other five combined. Ma Jun, on the other hand, was watching all the actions of Chen Emu's mecha. The system prompts that the difficulty needs to be increased, Chen Mu, you shouldn't let me down, right? Agree. Following Chen Emu's words, the notification sound came out again, please accelerate to the maximum speed. Zaku's engine roared loudly, and continued towards the boundless wasteland. This time, a golden pterosaur appeared in the distance, and it crashed into Zaku in the blink of an eye. Chen Mu only felt a sweetness in his throat, and the whole world began to spin, and the mech's alarm sounded continuously. With this collision, Zagu continued to fall apart. Chen Mu kept adjusting the movement of the mecha, but it was a pity that this B-level mecha was not like Xingyan, and had many auxiliary engines, so it was obviously not enough to cope with the impact. However, at this moment, Chen Mu's hand speed, which did not belong to the world, once again exploded with terrifying power. In 2.95 seconds, Chen Mu entered a total of 17 instructions. Like a fish swimming in the air, Zhigu drew an arc from left to right, and stabilized. The impact index is 751, the impact force is death level, and the speed is adjusted. The data cannot be judged, the data is wrong. Hearing this voice, Chen Mu was taken aback for a moment. But Ma Jun's face changed, he immediately exited the virtual mech cabin and sent a message to Yi Jingxuan. I request to immediately suspend the data entry of this virtual network node. Chen Mu's adjustment speed makes it impossible for Skynet to calculate. Agree. Yi Jingxuan's voice was not muddled, and he raised his hand and clicked on the virtual screen in front of him, list the virtual world data number TFO31926 as the school's SSS confidential file. The node has been blocked, and it has been reported to the management of Tianfu College for authorization. A virtual mechanical female voice came out. Authorization passed. It has been classified as confidential, and the current authority is numbered TF02. There is a big problem with Chen Emu's data. Ma Jun waited until Yi Jingxuan finished speaking before opening his mouth. I know there is a problem, but don't worry, because I already know who trained him. Yi Jingxuan smiled. Can you trust it? Ma Jun asked again. Well, since it was trained by that person, I have absolute trust in him. Yi Jingxuan nodded. Okay then I will continue to observe their training progress. Go. Yi Jingxuan switched on the communicator and opened another confidential document listed as SSSR. I didn't expect that your son actually came to my school. What you trained him was the method of obtaining the forbidden area, right? The X-fingering that has been coveted by the ghost organization for more than 10 years. Yi Jingxuan looked at a photo on the screen and murmured. 
Due to data errors and the blocking of the virtual network nodes, Chen Yu waited for a long time, but did not wait for the system to prompt again. Just when he was wondering, Ma Jun's voice came, Chen Yu, you can proceed to the next stage of training. Okay instructor, what should I do? Go to X375Y417, enter room 1982, password 1234, there is the training task I set for you. Chen Yu clicked on the optical screen, and after inputting the coordinates, the holographic screen of the mech flickered, teleporting to a hall with countless mechas walking around. 1982, Chen Yu went around in the hall, and finally found a glowing pillar with 1982 on it. After entering the password, Chen Yu entered the room. The dodge training is on. This is the first time you have entered the Skynet Comprehensive Training Ground. Please give your virtual network user a name. Shepard, the naming is complete. Your record in this room will be saved and uploaded to the honor ladder of the virtual network. Come on. Chen Yu looked around and found that the room information was displayed on the screen. There were two people in total, one of whom was himself, and the other was Ma Wang. The name instructor is really good. Chen Yu smiled and started a new training. Dodge training, a total of 10 levels, after completing the first level, you will enter the next stage. Current level 1, please hold on for half an hour. Training begins. As the mechanical female voice stopped speaking, Chen Emu's mecha appeared in a starry sky. Hundreds of white light clusters roared towards Chen Mu. Here we are, are we trying to avoid the ball of light? Chen Mu pushed Zaku's console and began to change directions continuously. The speed of the light sphere is constant, but the number is very large, so Chen Mu often transfers in a large range. The first phase went very well. The training difficulty began to escalate, and after six hours, it reached the highest level of 10. The current difficulty level is 10, please persist for five minutes. As soon as the words fell, countless light clusters swarmed from all directions. Depend on, Chen Mu had just manipulated the mech to change directions a few times, when he realized that he was surrounded by light clusters. How do you hide? Chen Mu wanted to cry, but the next moment, he returned to the training room. You were hit, the mission failed, persist for 7 seconds. Chen Mu frowned and thought for a while. No, no one can hold on to this density of light clusters, there must be something wrong. One more time and see if it's what I think it is. Chen Yu clicked on the list and entered the starry sky again. Seeing the ball of light roaring towards him, Chen Yu controlled Zaku and punched him. The light cluster continued to collapse and finally disappeared. So it can be attacked. Chen Yu smiled, and was then submerged by the light ball. Come again. This training program is very suitable for Chen Emu's appetite, so he entered the starry sky again excitedly. In the light cluster all over the sky, a black mecha retreated and advanced in a narrow range, constantly attacking. As the light cluster continued to disintegrate, the scope of action of the mecha was also continuously squeezed, and finally reached the limit. 4 minutes and 32 seconds, only 28 seconds to finish. Chen Mu took a deep breath. At this moment, he was concentrating on training, but he didn't realize that thousands of people had already entered his room, and the number was still increasing and the entire Skynet virtual network has already started to commotion because of this room. Countless people who were alarmed were spreading the news crazily. Have you heard? There is an unknown pilot who is doing the highest difficulty of the sprint and evasion training, and it has reached 4 minutes and 32 seconds. Are you kidding me? Could it be an SSS level mecha? Did some boss come in for training? Just a Zaku. Impossible, absolutely impossible. Do you know about the Dark Knight Twin Stars? Ligu's only SSS mecha, it only reached 4 minutes and 31 seconds in evasion training, using Zaku. Impossible, just come in and see for yourself. Others are still training. God man, this is a real god, could it be the vest of some legendary pilot? The name is Mew, I've never heard of this person. It's 100% the vest of a certain boss. They are relatively low-key, so they hide their names. Breakthrough again, reaching 4 minutes and 41 seconds. It's too strong, I've been in it before, and only lasted for one second. Wow, this change of direction, two-way arc step, my god, isn't this an operation that only exists in theory? Someone actually made it. Worship the boss, does anyone know who it is? I want to learn from my teacher. 
Could it be that the highest level of difficulty that has plagued countless pilots for hundreds of years is going to be cleared today? Oh, I made a mistake. This time it was only 8 seconds away. If it wasn't for this mistake, it is really possible to last for 5 minutes. Everyone, we are very likely to be lucky enough to witness the birth of a miracle. The number of people in the room has reached a staggering 50 million people in just a few minutes. Everyone looked at Chen Mu who was training intently, wanting to witness the birth of a miracle. This is the training ground of Skynet Virtual Network. It is the first time that so many people have gathered to watch a training session. Ma Xu's hands were shaking with excitement. As a professional machine detective, his task is to spend time in various training centers every day, looking for some pilots with superior talents and then helping some big organizations to win them over. Chen Yu didn't realize that the Horse King wasn't Ma Jun at all. Because the next training can only be in each training room of the virtual network. So Ma Jun just opened a room for Chen Yu and let him rush over. The initial password of the room is 1234. It's just that Ma Jun didn't expect that this was the first time for Chen Yu to come into contact with this kind of pilot virtual network. So he didn't change the room password, but started training directly. Such a mistake caused Ma Xu to randomly click in when he was wandering around. Chen Mu performed so easily in the first stage, Ma Xu noticed immediately and stayed. Ma Xu's shocked expression never calmed down when he watched Chen Mu enter the highest difficulty level. This is a newcomer, Ma Xu is very convinced, because the other party is very unfamiliar with the operation and application of the entire virtual network. And it was the first time to do dodge training. But is this really a newcomer? Trembling, Ma Xu recorded Chen Mu's 10th level training video and posted it on the pilot forum on the virtual network. This immediately caused an uproar. After watching the video, countless pilots started to log on to the virtual network and went to Chen Mu's room. And at this moment in Chen Mu's room, with the arrival of pilots one by one, plus their respective friends, friends of friends. The speed of this spread is terrifying to the extreme. Chen Mu, who had nothing else to do, didn't pay attention to these things at all. At this moment, he was dealing with these disordered light clusters attacking him with a solemn expression. Under such high-intensity training, plus the steel ball training in the previous two days, Chen Mu's hand speed, which had been stagnant for a long time, really reached a new height at this moment. It's not that the faster the hand speed, the better. The real hand speed actually refers to your effective command operation. Father's words flashed in his ears. Chen Mu's breathing became longer, and his hands slowed down from the afterimages at the beginning, but occasionally a series of afterimages would still appear, but compared to before, this time he managed the speed at his will. It turned out that the improvement of strength made me so happy. Joy surged in Chen Mu's heart, and his movements became more and more smooth. When Zaku kicked from the side and defeated the light group, the light group that filled the sky disappeared without a trace. Chen Mu appeared in the training room, feeling a soreness in his hands, phew, have you finally passed. Congratulations on successfully passing the 10th level of difficulty training. Your current score ranks first in the world. Hearing this, Chen Mu was taken aback. It turned out to be the only one in the world who passed the 10th level of training. What does this mean? Chen Mu couldn't believe it. Only then did he have time to observe his surroundings. But if you don't see it, you don't know it, and you are shocked when you see it. The current number of people in the entire room has reached more than 100 million people. Looking at his communication screen, with tens of millions of friend requests, Chen Yu looked dull. You idiot, why didn't you set a password for the room? Ma Jun roared helplessly. You didn't tell me either. Chen Yu looked innocent. Okay, go offline immediately, or I'm afraid those hackers will find your information. Ma Jun's words made Chen Mu's heart tremble, and he went offline without hesitation. With Chen Mu's offline, the turmoil of the virtual network has not stopped. Countless people began to search for Mu's information, but found nothing. All of this stems from Yi Jingxuan's immediate protection. At this moment, Yi Jingxuan showed his excited expression for the first time. Under the control of his hands, at least 76 master hackers were trapped in the trap of the virtual network by him. Fortunately, this room is located in our Tianfu area, and we have made enough defensive deployments over the years, otherwise my old bones may not be able to carry it. 
This kid gave me such a big fright, but I need to bleed a lot. Yi Jingxuan looked at the holographic screen in front of him, and countless data on it kept sliding like a waterfall. Chen Mu, who had just stepped out of the virtual cabin, sneezed several times in a row. Who's thinking about me? Chen Mu's heart trembled for no reason. Seeing that other students were training in the virtual cabin but did not come out, Chen Mu was really a little envious. However, the joy brought by the breakthrough in hand speed made him quickly forget this unhappiness. The virtual network completely mirrors reality, that is to say, actions that can be completed in the virtual network must be possible in reality. I finished it with Zakudu by myself, what if I replaced it with Xingyan? Thinking of this, Chen Mu became excited and ran to the mecha training room. Soon, Xing Yan's ferocious body appeared in front of Chen Mu. As the mech started, Chen Mu calmed down and moved his hands across the console. Like a peerless master, Xing Yan began to move around in this training ground. After Yi Xing came out of the virtual cabin, he looked around solemnly and found that there was no Chen Mu. Yi Xing ranks first in the comprehensive results of this training. Ma Jun said blankly, the others are not satisfactory and need more training. You don't have much time left, because there is less than one month, will participate in the freshman assessment. You are special recruits, if the performance of the freshman's assessment is not as good as that of general recruits, I believe you will lose face. Yi Xing frowned at Ma Jun, and finally couldn't help but asked, Instructor, how is Chen Mu's grades? Chen Mu's training has ended early because of too many mistakes. I arranged for him to go back and reflect. Ma Jun said without changing his face. Yi Xing breathed a sigh of relief, but he also had some doubts. Judging from Chen Mu's previous performance, it shouldn't be. However, if the instructor said so, there must be something wrong. Okay, today's training is over. After you go back, make a good summary, and continue training here at 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. Dot dot dot. Chen Mu on the other side has just walked out of the training base at this moment, and it is exactly 11 o'clock in the evening. The campus has also returned from bustle to silence, except for the ubiquitous optical probes working silently, there are no pedestrians. Chen Mu, who has practiced crazily all day, is still a little excited, but he also knows the truth that haste makes waste, so he is going back to rest. The campus is still calm. It's just that today's atmosphere is slightly abnormal. A figure in black with a mask was quietly standing in a blind corner of the surveillance, silently waiting for Chen Mu to walk in. And in another tall building, a slender figure, holding an optical telescope, is observing the movement on this side. Yi Jingxuan silently looked at the optical screen in front of him, showing a thoughtful look. He came straight to Chen Mu. Unsurprisingly, it should be the staff of the ghost organization. It seems that Chen Mu's sensation on the virtual network today has made these people confirm that Chen Mu has learned X fingering. However, I'm very curious. Since they dare not provoke the king of the mountain, what are they relying on to dare to provoke me? As Yi Jingxuan continued to swipe across the optical screen, countless hidden shooting pods emerged in the campus, aiming at a certain direction. The target is approaching, ready to act. A message came from the earphones of the man in black, and the next moment, he rushed out like an arrow leaving the string. In the darkness, there was a sudden intense, whoosh, sound. The pupils of the man in black narrowed sharply, and he made a beautiful change of direction, jumping to one side. Good job. Yi Jingxuan smiled. The next moment, the man in black was shot down from the air by a shuttle of bullets. It turned out to be the latest R6 bulletproof vest. It's really costly. But, with this, can you escape? Following Yi Jingxuan's words, the man in black quickly climbed a distance of 6 meters in the grass and then saw the ground tremble suddenly. Just when the man in black was about to fall in from the opened ground, he, who was extremely responsive, reached out and grabbed the edge of the steel plate. Then, he saw several heavy fire aimed at his head. The man in black's face darkened, and he raised his hand and stabbed his heart with a dagger. But before the knife entered his body, a mechanical arm protruding from the ground hit him hard on the back of the head. The man in black rolled his eyes and passed out. By the window of the tall building, a slim figure put down the optical telescope. Mission failed. Find a way to take away the Y3 human weapon, it cannot be left to Tianfu Academy. Accept the mission. The next moment, the slender figure opened the window and jumped from the 17th floor. 
Dot dot dot. Wei, go and bring this mouse back to me. Yi Jingxuan said coldly. Yes, master. A middle-aged strong man stood up silently from the corner, his two-meter high body looked extremely strong. But if you see him in action, you will definitely feel dazzled. Because such a strong person was as light and silent as a civet cat while walking. This movement and stillness are so natural and natural, without stagnation. At this moment, Chen Mu was thinking about the results of today's training, while walking slowly towards the classroom, completely unaware of everything around him. Wea quickly approached the man in black, less than 10 meters away. On the other side, that slender figure also approached this place like a puff of green smoke. The two of them and Chen Mu, who just finished the font, came to the same place. So, on the third day after stepping into Tianfu Academy, Chen Mu saw the most wonderful battle that he had ever seen in his life. So many years later, Chen Mu could no longer feel amazing about fighting, it all stemmed from this battle. A life and death battle that overturned Chen Mu's worldview is at this very moment. In this quiet Tianfu Academy, the prelude kicked off without warning. Wea and Jasmine, who was wearing a mask, discovered each other's existence at the same time. The moment Viana saw Jasmine's eyes, which had been calm all day long, suddenly fluctuated violently. The fighting spirit permeated under the moonlight. Jasmine's advancing body suddenly stopped, and she raised her green hands and looked at Wea without blinking. Just when Chen Mu was inexplicably shocked, Wea moved. His right foot stomped hard on the ground, making a violent friction. The sound made Chen Mu feel a sense of discomfort coming from his ears. The next moment, Wea, who was like a lofty mountain, bumped into the incomparably slim figure. In Chen Mu's ears, there was even a violent sonic boom. How powerful is this? Jasmine's eyes instantly turned blood red. If someone saw it, they would find countless data rolling in her eyes like a waterfall. Then her feet moved, like ghosts, and began to slide backwards against the ground. The movement is extremely elegant, and it is as weird as installing an engine on the foot. The distance between the two kept shortening, and Jasmine was going backwards, no matter what, it was not as fast as Wea. At the moment when Wea's shoulder bumped into Jasmine, Jasmine's hands drew countless trajectories like dream bubbles. With Chen Mu's eyesight, he could barely see the opponent's movements clearly. The pair of jade hands pierced or slashed at Wea's shoulder like lightning, and hit him 27 times in a row. Boom! A dull impact sounded. Jasmine spat out a mouthful of blood, and the person took advantage of the huge force of the impact to fly away like a swan, and then lightly touched the ground with his right foot, rushing towards Wea. Wea's entire right arm suddenly fell down, and the blood on his face faded away, and then he returned to normal. Before Wea attacked again, Jasmine kept swimming around Wea like a butterfly wearing flowers. And her hands are inseparable from Wea's vitals. Wea's face was solemn, and his hands were like shields, constantly parrying Jasmine's onslaught. The sound of fists and kicks between the two was extremely dull, and Chen Mu felt extremely irritated when he heard it. Chen Mu even saw that in the battle between the two, the stones brought up by the collision could punch a small hole in the alloy steel wall. If this hits a person, is there still life? It's a duel between two non-humans. In one minute, Jasmine made more than a thousand killing moves. It's just that Wea stood there steadily, like Mount Tai, unmoving. Then, the loudest sound after the war broke out between the two. After the loud noise, Jasmine spat out another mouthful of blood, then tapped her toes, and left quickly like a gust of wind. Wea quietly watched the direction Jasmine was leaving, and did not pursue. In his earphones, Yi Jingxuan's voice was sounding at this moment. After listening, he turned around and looked at Chen Mu, there is someone who wants to see you. This is, what's the matter? Chen Mu was a little puzzled. But Wea didn't explain anything, but lifted the man in black on the ground, and then looked at Chen Mu. Looking at his calm gaze, Chen Mu shook his head. Anyway, you have to tell me who you are and who wants to see me. Lao Yi, ha, huh, why is he looking for me so late? Is it because the stakes are too high and he wants to go back on his word? Wea shook his head, and still didn't say a word, just looked at Chen Mu quietly, as if you didn't leave and I wouldn't leave. Being stared at by such a terrifying guy, Chen Mu's heart trembled. Okay, let's go and have a look. Wea nodded, and strode towards the logistics department with the man in black. 
Seeing the man in black being carried like a dead dog, Chen Mu swallowed a mouthful of saliva and immediately followed. Soon, Chen Mu saw Yi Jingxuan in a work room in the logistics department. At this moment, Yi Jingxuan took off his formal clothes and was wearing a set of oil-stained overalls, polishing something. Lao Yi, you regret it as soon as you regret it, and you found such a horrible guy to threaten me, it's not kind. Chen Mu said loudly. Oh, you said Wea, he is a distant nephew of mine. Yi Jingxuan winked at Wea, who nodded and left with the man in black. Let me tell you, Lao Yi, Tianfu Academy is not peaceful. I just saw your nephew fighting with a masked man. It was too fierce. Chen Mu looked at Wea who was leaving, leaned in front of Yi Jingxuan, and said in a low voice. Oh, young people have young people's thoughts, we can't control it, come on, look at this, do you know what it is? Yi Jingxuan smiled and handed a finished part to Chen Mu. This is, Chen Mu looked carefully for a long time, could it be a part of the mecha engine? Well, that's right, I polished it myself, and it's a spare made from my mecha. Didn't it mean that handmade spare parts are useless? They are not as good as mechs recovering by themselves, so they are only used for short-term emergencies now. Chen Mu asked suspiciously. Yi Jingxuan nodded. In theory, it is so, but never underestimate the creativity of human beings. When the spare parts of the mecha you make exceed the original ones, if you assemble them, it is very likely to change the parameters of the entire mecha. At that time, if the mech is recovering in the space, it will adjust itself to let the whole body improve. Is there such a thing? Chen Mu looked bewildered. Yi Jingxuan's words gave him a subversive change in his common sense about mechas. Of course, you students have limited exposure. In the future, you will know that the world of mechs is far from being as simple as you see. Yi Jingxuan who said this made Chen Mu feel as if he was looking up from a high mountain. However, before Chen Mu could say a few compliments, Yi Jingxuan's voice changed. Boy, I paid for your expenses in the treatment cabin in advance, when will you pay me back? Remember the 10% interest per day and don't forget. Quote. Chen Mu opened his mouth and held back his words. I thought you were some peerless expert, but you turned out to be a restless and kind old fox. Grinding parts by hand is a very difficult skill. Few people know this skill now because they all rely on machines now. That is, the accuracy of machines should be higher than that of humans. Chen Mu nodded. No, that's not the case. Yi Jingxuan shook his head. Hand-polished parts are sometimes more suitable for the mecha, because only the pilot knows what his mecha needs. In addition, hand-crafted parts are a great exercise for the balance of your hands, which can make you stronger. How is it? Do you want to gamble again? Yi Jingxuan winked at Chen Mu. What are you betting on? Chen Mu asked, don't you still have comprehensive strengthening injections? No, but I got another good thing recently. Yi Jingxuan smiled mysteriously, then waved, follow me. The old and the young soon came to a utility room. It is said to be a utility room, and it is indeed a utility room. Because it's very messy here. However, Chen Mu clearly saw that there were hidden shooting pods everywhere in the room. He had no doubt that if Yi Jingxuan hadn't led the way here, anyone else would have been sieved as soon as they came in. Then, he saw Yi Jingxuan take out a wooden box from an alloy cabinet. After opening it, there is a crystal clear square inside. The beauty of these four squares made Chen Mu feel that if they were in his own world, they would be absolutely priceless. What is this? Chen Mu asked. Do you know about mutant compound energy mines? I know, the school curriculum has taught that the mutated composite energy mine can extract mutated energy blocks, and the kinetic energy it provides is ten times higher than nuclear power. Lao Yi, wouldn't you tell me that this is a mutated energy block? Chen Mu was taken aback. You must know that mutated energy blocks are the top strategic resources even in the government and the army. As you can see, the alien beast space is certainly a catastrophic level for us humans, but the encounters contained in it are also top-notch, so we humans can go further on the road of evolution. Seeing Chen Mu holding the energy block and not letting go, Yi Jingxuan smiled, and then said, Want. I think, Chen Mu hugged him even tighter, because he could feel that Xingyun from another space was calling to the energy block he was holding. Easy, let's make a bet. Yi Jingxuan showed his signature old fox smile. Chen Mu looked at Yi Jingxuan warily, what are you betting on? Here, 
I have an extremely complicated part that needs to be processed. Machines can't do it. If you can process it, then this energy block will be yours. And what if I can't do it? Then you have to come to the logistics department and fight me for three years. Yi Jingxuan said with a smile. One year, two years, one and a half years. Yi Jingxuan shook his head and said, it can't be lower. Deal. Chen Mu thought about it for a while, and then nodded after realizing that it was not a loss. How is it? We have a lot of good things in the logistics department, right? Um, do you want to come to the logistics department? You can sneak some in the future, and I won't tell others. Yi Jingxuan looked at Chen Mu seductively. But you give me the feeling, why do you seem to be saying that you will definitely inform me? That's your illusion. No, what's good about the logistics department? I'm a man, and men need to fight. Chen Mu looked upright. Then you mean that I'm not manly enough? Yi Jingxuan's expression turned serious. Ah, Lao Yi, you are old, you can see that you have more wrinkles on your face than I have on my hands. Really? Yi Jingxuan's face darkened. Are you sure? Seeing the countless muzzles of guns turned around and aimed at him for a moment, Chen Mu's face also turned black. Lao Yi, don't bully newcomers like that. Chen Mu shook his head. You're not old, okay. You're just a baby in his teens. Little fool. Yi Jingxuan slapped Chen Mu on the forehead. I used to be the most handsome guy in Dragon Kingdom. Ah, self-proclaimed. Chen Mu laughed. Get out, starting tomorrow. You don't have to go to class. Come to me every day, and I will teach you how to polish parts first. Then what about my mech training? There is also the freshman assessment. A strange expression appeared on Yi Jingxuan's face. Are you so unconfident in yourself? I passed a bad test, and I didn't warm up before, and I still need special training. That's true. Chen Mu nodded solemnly. You can pass, I should be able to close my eyes. Seeing Yi Jingxuan's complexion constantly changing, Chen Mu immediately walked towards the door. Old Yi, I'll go first, remember to accept the bet. Looking at Chen Mu's fast back, Yi Jingxuan showed a smile. This kid, he is as virtuous as his father, and never suffers. Then he turned on the communicator on his wrist, what's the matter? Dead. There is a biochip in his brain, which should have been implanted since birth. This chip controls his life and death. A woman's voice came. Okay, I got it, let Wea come back. Yi Jingxuan frowned and turned off the communicator. No one is idle. Ghost Ying got the biological memory card at that time, and it has achieved results in just over 20 years. Is that woman also a living weapon? It's unbelievable that she escaped from Wea's hands. I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.